This is a Ben Frank Connection presentation. What is going on, everybody? We are live and we're at 1K over on YouTube. Huge thank you to everyone for the support and the love for this entire journey. I got to say, I got to get a little, a little, a little emotional tonight. Already internet can issues. That's, that's, that's exciting. Love to see that. You'll love to see it. Um, but the, um, yeah, six years in the making and we finally hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube. It means, the world to me uh it is, it is something i've worked at so so hard and the job's not done we got more to go on to 10k that's the next milestone you want 10,000 um but thank you seriously it means the world that the, the fact the fact that this channel is now monetized the fact that this channel is now partnership the fact that this channel is is growing and people are members and people are supporting um it means so much to me and i i know it's not exactly what i want yet but this is the graphic so far it's been made i just my computer's been is causing issues all day but uh our youtube membership thanks you only right now we only have up to the world tier champion uh and that's freak maniac but if, if the more people join i will be putting more names on that to give you your special shout out on screen that uh is exclusive to you guys but also if you join any of the members tier memberships, you do get a shout out on the show. So we're going to do that correctly. Uh, do that right now. So first off, huge thank you to our tag team members. Uh, Lily from Witchcraft by Lily. Uh, sorry, where are we at? And James from the uh, Addictedly Speaking podcast. Thank you guys so much for your support. Now for our mid card title holders, uh, James M, CJ, DM, Andrea. Adam, Inspector Todd, BR, Stephen Chambers, Devin the Tribal Chief, acknowledge him, uh, Anastasia, Austin Blackwell, my little brother over there, over at Captain Butter Streaming over on Twitch. Uh, so thank you guys so much for that support and donations to keep the lights on for this podcast. So uh, uh, Joe says, support this duty works hard with the ABJ chance. Thank you so much. Well, the chat is open. Link is out there if you want to come and hang out. Um, we we would we would love to have you on tonight's Monday Night Raw 1K celebration. Also, if you want to hang out and keep the party going tonight, join us over on the Discord. Uh, it is it is 100% free. Just click that link, get in there, and come hang out and join us. Uh, join the cult of ABJ Discord. Um, we also did update and revamp the. Uh, merchandise pages right now so the only thing available is just uh the the main abj logo what you see up in the corner and we we will have the uh all the other shows so we'll have the um not cool in high school not cool in high school horror banging beers blazing buds i know those shows are coming soon i promise you as well as um the not cool in high i said not cool in high school um tornado tag and there's something else what am i forgetting there's another show in there I don't remember. There's too many. But all those logos will be available. Oh, five questions with ABJ. They're all be available for purchase. Um, and then when a special logo comes, like the WrestleMania logos, they will be available on the merch page as well. As of right now, you can get your ABJ podcast main logo in that that uh, Eagles teal midnight green that, AB, that WrestleMania is using. Or you can get our version that is not copyright strick, stricken. Um, uh, WrestleMania logo that was handmade by yours truly, ABJ. So you can go grow that, grow grab those merchandise. That would be amazing. Um, not sure who's joining tonight. I don't know if any of the Opinion City boys are jumping in or not. We will see. But uh, yeah, let's let's have some fun. I don't know anything that's going on tonight at Raw. Um, I know I, I'll keep looking at uh, the uh, the internet thing in the corner, and it's not looking great. If, it, if the quality is not amazing, that's probably going to push people away, which is not what you want as a content creator. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. For some reason, man, 
I have fast internet. Everything's working perfectly, but StreamYard for some reason just is not having a great time. And I don't know why. I don't know if it's maybe because I'm streaming in too many places. I don't know. It's really annoying though. But uh, let me know on your end if it looks absolutely dog shit. Because uh, that's... Uh... The video is lagging, but the we can hear you perfectly. That's fucking great. That pisses me off. That pisses me off. So, like, good thing I have, like, I paid all this money for a high definition camera to look like it's fucking uh, grocery store footage of uh, someone stealing the register. You know, that's exciting. Um, but yeah, let's let's have a good time tonight. Also, on top of hitting 1K, the podcast um, also is ranked in the top inside the top 150 uh, for um, wrestling podcasts in the United States of America. So not only did we hit 1K on the video side of things, the actual audio side for the podcast is is uh, is doing fan fantastic. It's doing really, really well. Uh, it's inside, the like I said before, the top 150. So I'm very proud of that. I mean, I know that we do have Tornado Tag, which does talk about um, – history and old school wrestling which is fun but we're not really focusing on the only time i really talk mainstream wrestling is a little bit in tornado tag and then i do these hangouts and that's where we talk like here's my theory of what's going on in current day wrestling but most of my content is just supporting independent art and independent wrestling so the fact that we're ranked that high and all we really cover is independent wrestling that excites me that we're inside the 150 because i don't think there's many people inside that one not 250 that exclusively just interview independent wrestlers and i'm proud of that that's i think i'm more proud of that than making the list in general um i so yeah that's kind of what i hang my hat on the fact that we're ranked that high and for the most part we're giving wrestling and, and independent art uh a place to uh to reside but I want to give another quick love here while we're doing the beginning of Raw to some of our past content. So go check out WrestleMania, our WrestleMania review, uh, me and BP on Tornado Tag. We just did that, that, so you can check that on all podcast platforms as well as YouTube, the replay. Um, tomorrow, we'll be live doing another review um, for Evil Dead Rises. My buddy Charles Moran for Horror Prince will be on as we review Evil Dead which is going to be pretty fun. Um, maybe tonight in the Discord, we'll have a movie night. That's something we talked about. Uh, this is the one that set it off, man. Uh, they went out and went hard in the paint promoting and, and talking about it and, and, and giving their, their huge platform and their community a lot of love and support from, from them. And we, we literally gained almost 50 subscribers in two or three days because of their community and their support system and their fan. I don't want to say fan base because I don't think a lot of people like to use this term. For, I know I don't, but like I said, the community. And that's Dante James. Dante Elizabeth James, huge TikTok and, and influencer. Also, they have their own YouTube channel. They're so goddamn funny. They are one of the most entertaining people on the internet. And I followed them for a while and then found out that, that we live very close to one another. And we kind of bumped into each other at a... Uh, a drag show and it was a really good time and we got to chat and um learn a lot about th them and what they do and how they did their content but now we're going to carry that over to you guys to listen to on the podcast this thursday at uh, nine o'clock so really pumped for that and then we have the last tornado tag of the month of uh april so yeah last last one here will be dusty roads uh as we as we go into mania week so that's pretty exciting a lot of stuff going on Fucking this that 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 connection is pissing me off. They're like, plug it in, plug in your computer. It'll run faster if it's plugged in. It is plugged in. It is plugged in, StreamYard. Get your shit together. Are we starting off with Cody? What are we doing? Look that way. Why would you put a graphic of the WrestleMania? I guess okay, because I guess because it's facing the wrong direction. So you put one on tv that looks like it's there but there's the real wrestlemania graphic i don't know why you just don't get that camera shot to start off but there we are what's up with the stage tonight is this a new look for raw is this what we're doing now or is this exclusive to this arena Am I bugging or is this something different?
uh, sold out the extra tickets. That's what's up. Is this the, is is this I want I'm curious is this the is this the way that is this the new stage going forward for Raw where it's a lot less it's a lot it kind of it looks very similar to uh, AEW stage at Wembley where it's just one big bar um, like one big screen and then you just come out the middle but it doesn't like the old Raws or the old WWE production that we've been used to seeing for most of this year is the floor to ceiling screen and this is like a quarter, like a fourth of that, um, very small, very well, much smaller than it was. It's still massive. I mean, if that was my TV, I wouldn't be mad about it. But uh, yeah, it, it looks like there's um, it looks like there's seats overlooking that screen. So maybe they they just added more seats to like they're saying they they release tickets. Um, so maybe they they just kind of chop the screen down and let people look over the screen so they can pack them in. That's exciting, man. I'll tell you what, these companies are doing their thing. Like people are taking photos of empty seats and both companies have been coming out swinging by uh, filling up these arenas and doing extra marketing and getting jam packing people in there. I mean, people say, regardless if you're an AEW fan or a WWE fan, man, look at this. Wrestling is thriving and that's exciting. All right, let's hear what Cody has to say as I have one bar of internet on my fucking stream yard. I hate this so bad. It's I don't know. It, I, I wonder. I wonder if it's just me who's going through this on stream or is it everybody? But it's fucking annoying. I'll tell you that right now. If it, it, maybe if Google Chrome, I don't know. Maybe I switch over to Firefox and try that again. Um, but it's it's annoying as hell. It's annoying. If I go Streamyard, that it lags. If I go, uh, I don't know. I'm going to try this. Let's see if this works. See if it lags or any better. I'm going to try. I'm going to go back to Firefox, see if my Firefox works better. Nope, already one bar. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I, I can't win. Yikes. So if you type in StreamYard slow, it literally goes, you meant restream, right? And it tells you to go use restream. <laughs> restream. Uh, uh, I don't know. Could you imagine if, like, the independent wrestling scene showed love to your commentary team like that? That'd be dope. That'd be fucking cool. I lost all my viewers. Oh, God. They're only at six now. I don't blame you if, you if it looks that bad and you're not hanging around. I get it. This is fucking frustrating. I'm very upset right now. So bad. I don't have a guest that I can like have them come in so I can reset my modem, but I hate this so bad. He referred to me on that show as a politician. Smackdown. He would double down and he said that I've been making promises that I cannot keep. And that hit me. It got under my skin, no doubt. The reason being, this city, more than any other city, I just lost my stream. Fucking wow. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Where are they at tonight? Will I be his 
best man at his wedding. So explain that to my wife, okay? Hey, honey, I'm going to Anthony's wedding. Not only uh, am I doing that, I'm paying for the bachelor party. Well, honey, who's Anthony? I don't know. But I'm still doing it. Hudson. Yeah, I'm back on Chrome now, but it's... it's. <sighs> Let's do a quick speed test. Yeah, my upload speed is dog shit right now. I don't know what's happening. I give up. If it works, it works. Speaking of giving up, bringing my guest here tonight. <laughs> I don't know. I had no segue. I'm frustrated. <laughs> Speaking of giving up, that's fantastic. Lovely. What's going on? Man? Love that. What's going on, man? Not much. I put the I put the link out there. See if anyone joins our 1K celebration that is being thwarted by the fucking stream yard. 1,000. Yeah, man. That's a hell of a hell of an accomplishment. <laughs> yeah, we're trying. We're trying. It's you know what? It, it, I'm very I'm very thankful and I'm very grateful. But also, like one guest shared the content and was like i'm on a part of this podcast you should check it out it's really fun and i gained 50 subscribers from one guest who just put it out there and i've interviewed like hundreds of people and right sometimes they don't even say they were on the show yeah. you know or they yeah, don't like yeah or they remove the tag when you tag them have you ever had right. that happen yet no that that's happened before where you tag the wrestler or the person you're you're you're, you're having on your guest and they remove the tag it's like cool man thanks thanks for that appreciate <laughs> that thanks for caring about my brand Right, right. I feel that. Yes, so yes, we it's broke the curse. It is, it is not <laughs> WrestleMania 75 yet. We broke the curse. Uh, well, thank you, Vince Torres. I don't know if I put your comment up. Thank you for the uh, congratulations. I appreciate you stopping in hanging out. Link is up if you want to stop in and say what's going on. I don't know if I can share this on my... I mean, it's probably going to look like dog shit because my internet's... So somehow so terrible, um, but um, you look fine right now. You look fine on your end. But like you're watching through Streamyard, though. You're not watching. Yeah, but me watching through Streamyard is showing me the true. Like right now, you're choppy. Oh, okay. Like so, it's not just you know. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a, it's, a, it's a goddamn nightmare. It's Streamyard for some reason. Streamyard hates you. Yeah. That's that's fine. Uh, let's do this real fast. Let's uh, let's go to this screen and let's get share screen. Didn't ask for this, but I appreciate this. This this is the stuff that sets you apart. You can hear that, right? No. It might be. I hear it now a little bit. Pretty fun. Appreciate that. That's going above and beyond to, to say to, to put a message out there. So I like that kind of stuff. I don't get those yeah. often. Yeah. Here comes Rock. Heel Rock coming to confront Cody. I thought he wasn't announced for the show tonight. Oh, he wasn't. Get, no. It's a surprise. Oh. Uh, when you're on the board and you love wrestling so much, all of a sudden you should you shouldn't have to be announced to be there, right? I mean, that's kind of fair. <laughs> There it is. I do love the sort of remixed new theme. I ain't gonna lie about it. I'm a, I'm a big fan of nostalgia, no matter what way you put it. And there, and his O3 theme to me was one of my favorite themes. And the fact that they were able to sort of remix it into this theme, I, I enjoy it. 
what do you what do you think of tonight's setup? Do you think it's because they're just trying to pack more people in, or do you think this is the new look of Raw? I think it's just because of where they are. I feel like I feel like they're you know it's CM Punk's hometown. CM Punk's back. I feel like it's they're they're doing it for the crowd. Where that? Do you know where we're at next week for Raw? You go Chicago, then you hit up another major market, and then you end in Philly. That's like a that's a road trip to WrestleMania. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what we have to do right now, right? The Rock yeah. has to come down and talk shit, and Punk has to come down. Oh and plant right, that seed. It has to, right? That would. Be if you're dope. gonna give me an hour <laughs> promo, make it worth my time. Punk has to come down and be like, "Look at this guy back again, trying to steal the Mania spotlight." Just right. like, just like when I left seven years ago. You right. know what I mean? I I feel and like since in Chicago, he's gonna right. do like he's gonna answer the pipe bomb in fucking WWE with right. the Rock in the ring <laughs> right. in Chicago. Right. Want to get I, Cody over for Mania? Give him the endorsement of Punk in, in Chicago. Yeah, absolutely. That's how you do it tonight. Absolutely. With my one bar. <laughs> We're yeah, doing but it's, great. We're doing great. I'm just gonna pretend to not look at it and just hope it gets yeah, better. Yeah, just don't stare at it. When we get to commercial, though, I'm gonna I'm gonna have you take over, and I'm sure. gonna reset my modem. Sure. You got it. Let me send my mom a text. Let her know that the internet's gonna go down soon. But I feel like they're saving that moment for uh, uh, Drew McIntyre and CM Punk to plant that seed. For once, for, for once, CM Punk gets better. I think that's the route that they're going. Here we go. The first hour of the show. Here's my thing. Going. You slapped me in the face. I slapped you in the face. What are we staring at each other for? This should be a fight. Or just stare at each other forever and not say a word. Let the fans react. Oh, now what happened? We can't hear shit on TV. Oh, right. <laughs> At least they're not blacking out the whole screen. No one has a mic in their hand, so someone's interjecting this promo or it's a pull apart. I think Punk comes out. Or an epic stare down. <laughs> If he does, it'd be dope. No one has a mic in their hand. So unless tar someone turns around and walks to the corner and gets a mic, no no, no one has a mic. Unless Cody has one in his pocket, but The Rock don't have one. The small things, I know. <laughs> <laughs> he always knows the little things. Now I'm like looking at all angles now because you say certain things. I would have like them go nose to nose, get a little testy, and then cue punk's music. <laughs> That's what happens. Hey, you say that? I swear to God. What are they trying? <laughs> I swear to God. Na 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 na. Was it? Is he gonna give him one?
This reminds me of the promo from Mania. One of the ones we had Triple H where they say nothing. They walk out. They stare at this sign, stare at each other. They do their poses and leave. But but you understood the whole thing, but they didn't say a word. This isn't that, though, but that's what I'm thinking about. That Chicago Bulls jacket that guy was wearing was amazing. Yeah. Going old school with that jacket. If this is the new stage, I I think it's kinda cool, but I feel like it's just just a one time deal, but who knows? I was anticlimactic. Anticlimactic. One fucking bar, like not even close. All right, I'm gonna jump out here quick. Hold okay. it down. If anyone right. jumps in, obviously, if they have a microphone, they're good. I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, hey guys, welcome back to the Parma Show. The however long it takes for ABJ to get fixed show, where it's just me. Thoughts on that silent promo? Because it felt like it felt like that moment I was saying about, but just not as good. Like that moment, I'll never forget. It was just a raw. Undertaker uh, and Triple H. One came out, the other came out. They said nothing. They gave an epic stare down for what felt like forever. Then they both stared at each other. Then the sign back at each other. Taker did the neck pose. Triple H did the suck it. It was an easy challenge accepted leave. It was just dope. This didn't feel like that, though. <laughs> You're right. You're right. You're right. You're so right. You're so right. I, I love you. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome to Chill with the OC. This is Parma. Working solo today because Ralph isn't here yet. But we're here. Thanks to Kai. Thank you, Kai. Shout out to you, sir. This is the part which I'll take over of the ABJ hangout. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> For real, though, let's give it up for ABJ for hitting that 1K because that's awesome. We are getting there, but not even close, but we're on the right track. <clears throat> if, he gives me, if, if he gives me a super chat, I don't know, man. I don't know whether to be honored. I don't know. The reaction, I don't know. I do know it would piss J ABJ off, though. He hates that. <laughs> what do you think is going to happen with CM Punk and DM Hunk, which I have to have that shirt. That CM Punk shirt with the blue dye over it. Oh, God, no. No. He did. He's going to be so upset. <laughs> Freak, don't get banned because of me. Don't get banned because of me. <laughs> oh, no. It's over. I'm never going to be asked to come on your show again. <laughs> I'm going to be banned from the Hangout. Uh... Freak, I think you just canceled the Parma show. Inadvertently, of course. But I think you just canceled the Parma show. Even though 
Lily says he gets excused of his bad behavior, so Lily excuses you. Will ABJ? I'm not sure. <clears throat> yeah, it was your idea, Steven. That was your idea, so you can see it's your fault. It's all your fault. If I get yelled at, it's because of you. Ow. Beat up my own microphone. That, that's what I get. There is more ads on Raw than there is show. I say that every week, but it's so noticeable how there's a very little show, very much ads, and half of the show is promos and no matches. But we'll see. Still haven't had a match yet, and it's 825. <laughs> I'll let him read that freak, okay? That, that's for him to read. I'll let him read that. I'm going to wait for him to re react to that. There he is. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to Children of the OC. How's it going? <laughs> Welcome back. You missed a lot. Read the last message and also read the super chat. <laughs> so anyway, everyone. Welcome to the show. <laughs> uh, let's do the chat. Uh, I'm, I'm keeping that $2. He's not getting it. Fuck him. Um, <laughs> what else we got here? I mean, if you were a king, I'll let you get away with this. But this is... This could never happen from Team Canva. All right? All right. I, I don't... I don't. I seem to have fixed this... Uh, these you look shenanigans. Great. You look great. <clears throat> All righty. <laughs> if I know it's good for me. Are you crazy, Freak? Are you absolutely crazy? Freaks. I told you Freak's going to cancel me. Freak's going to get me canceled. <laughs> Freak's going to get me canceled. Oh. I made all this work for this guy, and look at him. Look at him. He's tearing me apart. <laughs> Rock promo. Do you see Shayna Baszler's new bit on the on the dark matches now? What? So Shayna Baszler's openly gay, and her new bit is Rhea stink faces. People. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so did see that. So Shayna I and, and so does Nia Jax. Yeah. So Shayna's in the corner acting like she's dead, and she's like going like this to the crowd to cheer. And then she's acting like she's like out of it. And then Naya comes over and stink faces Shayna Baszler. And then Shayna gets up cheering like, yeah. And then she's like, oh, I mean, oh. Uh, uh. And then and then Rhea gets in the ring and then she runs and just throws herself in the corner. She's like, give me the stink face. Like, so it, like Shayna Baszler asking for stink faces. So people rub their butt in their face, which is like super cool. That's great. Anthony Graves. I'm sorry, hey. Anthony Lanetti. From the Anthony Lanetti show. Uh, Five dollars super chat says happy one K. Here's the road to two K, man. Hope you are doing well. I'm doing great. Thank you so much. Um, if you want to come hang out and and plug what you got going on, stream is open, chat's open. Anybody wants to come in and say what's going on, it is open invitation to everybody here tonight. Um, hopefully my internet looks better. My camera doesn't look like a like a 1945 gas station video. You know. You look good. I just. I just checked it. I'll put the link in there again. I think it should still be pinned, but we'll see. I did crack a uh, what? I said I cracked a what for the uh, <laughs> celebration of 1K. We, there you we go. put the Lord in our life. What are we doing, Dig? <laughs> what are we doing? This is not. This is not what we do. Back up. Back uh -uh. up. Back up. I I put catnip down for them, and they didn't even want it. Yeah. It pisses me off. So how's your day been going? I'm not going at all. Just kind of been sitting around and uh, uh, 
Yeah, just really didn't get, get a lot get a lot done. I just kind of sat around, to be honest with you. It's not a terrible thing to have one of those days. I wish I had an income coming in. That'd be great. <clears throat> well, of course. Ryan Box says, what's up, chat? And congratulations on 1K, bruv. 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 Well, Ryan, Ryan, if you're in the chat and you want to come in and say hi, chat is open. Come say what's going on. You know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna, I'm gonna. It's gonna take me forever to start making an income and to get a job, and I'm gonna miss out on some of these cool T-shirts. Like by the time I start getting money, Judgment is gonna be long gone, and I'm gonna not be able to get this cool. Like I like that Judgment Day shirt, the one where it's like the bleach stained. Yeah, yeah, it it's so a really cool, cool shirt. Yeah. I think it's very cool. <clears throat> You know Is what there, they should do? It should what? be a masks versus mommy match, where if Dom wins, if Dom wins, Rey Mysterio has to unmask and retire, and if Rey wins, Dom has to leave mommy. It's a mask. It's a mask versus mommy match. Oh jeez. Uh, yeah, I'll be around Mania weekend. So for Mania weekend, I will be at uh, Labor of Love at Attic Brewing in Germantown. <laughs> uh, in Philly for um, those two shows. They're going to be fantastic cards. I, yeah, I can't uh, wait. Our boys over at the Opinion City, uh, this, this jabroni and his amazing <laughs> co-hosts will be there. Uh, they will be doing the pre-show and post-show, so I'm there to support those guys. And then on Saturday, me and this jabroni over here <laughs> are going to be at Suplex Vintage Wrestling. Uh, it starts off at 11 a.m. It's going to go all night long. There's going to be amazing special guests, some oh, yeah. celebrity appearances, and a card you don't want to miss. Mm -hmm. What a bump out by J.D. McDonough. He's so good and it just sucks that he's getting put in a role like this, like where he's just kind of like the jabroni. Yeah, he's kind of like... like the jobber of the group, even though he's yeah. so talented. He reminds me a lot of like Adam Cole. He's like, he's a mix between Adam Cole and Finn Balor. Fair. That's a, that's a fair mix up. I'm on commercial. Also in the chat so below. Holy crap. Uh, also in the chat below, yeah, absolutely. Um, there, there's only they're the only places I'm. I'm like, I can't really go much anywhere else because funds are really tight, and I'm at one fucking bar again. Uh, uh, but yeah, so um, if you guys, if if so, that they're the shows I'll be at. I won't be traveling around, obviously, due to lack of funds. But at least I'll be in the city. Yeah, I'll be I'll be around the mix, um, and then maybe I have to catch up on that show. Why does Chucky look so old? Um, and then uh, Sunday, we might be making an appearance somewhere, but I'm not sure how that's going to work out yet. Because that's, dude, we, we talked a little bit. That's a lot of driving. Like, you got to drive almost three hours to get to me, then to drive another two hours back the direction you just came from, then to drive two hours back home is a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot. I feel bad for Wednesday, Thursday, let alone that whole <laughs> Saturday trip. I know I mean, what that's I said. the shit I would do to help. Some, like that. That's why I don't have a transmission anymore or a car. Uh, so I know where you're coming from, trying to help people. But it just—it's a lot. I know. I know what I said. So, yeah, I stand by it. Um, we'll we'll we'll, we'll work out the details. Yeah. Um, especially too, if we're gonna do that, you gotta let them know that there might be two to three people coming that trip, just so I no did. space is I, limited. I mentioned. Well, I mentioned two. I didn't know it was a third. Well, if I think Lily's coming, she'll be here Saturday. So, oh. yeah. But for Sunday, she might like, come. Oh, well, she's here Saturday. She'll probably tag her along Sunday too. All right, cool. Well, then, yeah. I, I mean, I'm sure that it, it'll be fine. Back in his message, message him again. Who are you messaging, Sal? What? Are you messaging Sal? Sharf. Oh, Sharf. Okay. Yeah, he was one that reached out to me, uh, to, uh, me and said, "Hey, I just watched your episode with Sal." And yeah, 
Yeah, his uh, his five questions with ABJ just dropped. So if you want to go check out that one, that's available right now. Yeah. All the Irwin. All the time. Uh, yeah, I'm on commercial. So how was your day? What did you do today? You know, work. <laughs> yeah. I wish. Four more, four more days and I get my week off. I, I, I can't wait. I can't wait. I mean, it's going to be busy, but I, but I literally took off a week for this. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I'm just taking all the week. Fuck it. Yeah, I applied to two different jobs. See if that anything comes through with that. I haven't heard anything <laughs> for the one that like I thought I did really well in the interview, but we'll see. Right. Trying to stay positive, but it's very, very difficult. <laughs> yeah, I'd do your best. That's why today's in for, not, today 1K and being inside the 150 for the podcast is exciting for me. Hell yeah. Uh, Hell yeah. I mean, the, the dream and the goal is for this to become something that I can lean on for income. You know yeah. what I mean? I, I know that that's a very, very long shot to, to be a paid content creator. There's millions of us trying to do that. You know what right. I mean? But um, if I can just find a job that doesn't require me to go out and kill my body every day, that'd be fantastic. Right. But where I live, it's the only thing that's available. And you're by Ralph, right? Or you're near-ish Ralph? I'm like... an. 45 minutes from Ralph, maybe an hour. So, are you I don't, I don't, are you in Slatington or are you by? I don't even know where no, which town you're no, in. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> I'm in Monty City, so I'm gotcha. like probably an hour, maybe right. 45 minutes to an hour from Slatington. Okay, where I live, man, it's like if you, you need a car, you're not getting uh, you're not getting anywhere. Like, if I apply for a job, it's a 25-minute drive in any direction to get to it. Oh, wow. So not having a car sucks. Yeah. That's and these work, my... from ho- these work from home jobs just don't call back when you apply. Or if you do apply, they end up being scams. Right. Fun fact for anyone out there trying to job hunt in today's society. <laughs> yeah. um, there's going to be a lot of jobs that hit you up for work at home places. And they're going to ask you for all your personal information. And they're just going to not... Uh, request like an interview or anything and they're going to say you got the job and the pay is going to be amazing and the hours are going to be awesome and then when you uh when you ask to actually speak to somebody they're gonna be like no we don't do that we just start you right away and it's just like no thank you right and they're really good at making fake websites so like great i i found one Love the that. other day just like messing around where uh, an ad popped up on facebook this is how crazy scammers are getting and it's terrifying Dude, it's in the bad. world we live it's bad um there was a website that said uh, go for GoPro, and it was like, yo, we're doing a sale right now where you can get a brand new GoPro for fifty bucks. And I was like, that's not real. No. And you click on the website, and it looks like a legit mm. GoPro website yep. down to the T. Yep. And you go and you file the, the the buy this GoPro on sale, and it's not a real GoPro website. Nope. Like it's, but it looks really, really good. And it's just like, man, this uh, this world is shitty. Like. That's it's already bad scams. enough that we're we're all broke and poor, and the top one percent takes all of the fucking money. But on top of it, you're gonna scam the poor even more. <laughs> like, scam someone who's rich. Was, you know what Facebook I mean? Go, be, scams be, 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 like be ballsy. Like forty to, to sixty bucks for a watch that that everybody wanted, and I thought it was a real website for a watch everybody wanted, and it just wasn't. I like, you know one, what? Two, you know what I get a lot too. Well, I'll get on Instagram. I'll, they'll say, "Hey, we really like your brand. Uh, go to this website and pick out four things, and we'll send them to you for free." Uh, and then they like, yeah, but you only pay for one, but we'll give you four with this code. And then you, you, and then, but like, you're going to be our brand sponsor, and it's like an in- ambassador thing, and that they're fake too. Right. I didn't get caught by it, but they're 100 percent fake. Uh, what's going on, Austin? In the chat, I'm not sure if uh, if you're if you're live or doing anything right now, but if you want to stop in and say what's going on, the chat is open. We're watching some Monday Night Raw, JD McDonough versus Ricochet, that was which a is nice Spanish it, fly. In anywhere in the world that this match would be like a main event because they're both insanely talented. But I do like the different angles that they're adding. You're ahead of me now. Am I? Unless unless this turns into a Spanish fly, a Spanish fly already happened. I didn't pay attention. Oh no, it's not a Spanish fly. They're on the top rope. It already and it happened, a... and then then what I said was the replay of it happening. 
But oh, okay. Yeah, right I just watched. Re- I just watched a reverse Rana from the top rope. Well, then that's about to happen. A reverse Rana on a Monday Night Raw. One. Yes, yeah, so I'm that far behind you. <laughs> yeah. All right, never mind. I'm like five seconds behind you at least. Uh, I'm not, but I'm getting ready for bed here soon. I'm a little busy. Wanted to come and chat and say hang out with you and just say congratulations on 1K. I appreciate that, everyone. Thank you for stopping by and and, and congratulations and all the congratulations. Uh, it means a lot. It's uh, it's been a long, long journey to get here. Six channels, six years later, and we did it. 1K. <laughs> the grind is real. Yeah. The 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 grind. Honestly, it's really easy. Like the best thing you can do is just is have Dante on your podcast. Like if Dante's <laughs> booked, you're getting subscribers. Like Dante is the goat. Love them to death. I cannot wait for that interview. It's gonna be so much fucking fun. Yeah, I was scrolling through their TikTok just to see, and I was like, "Oh, this is gonna be a fun interview." Oh, yeah. You just seen this in person. Yeah. You met him in uh, person. Yeah. Already. So, so yeah. So what? Ha- I followed Dante for a while on TikTok. Right. Because when I first seen Dante, they were doing um. Lola from when Big Mouth season one hit, and right, everybody right. was doing impersonations of uh, Lola, and uh, people were doing. And there was there was two two people uh, that were doing Lola really well, and Dante was one of the two that I thought were really fucking good. Like, right. my mom says I can get my ears pierced at Claire's, <laughs> but I have to go to Home Depot because the Claire's girl said their gun's not fucking strong enough or something like right. that like uh my lobes are too fucking thick for their gun um but yeah so uh it was uh so that's how i met dante and then dante like like they didn't they didn't latch on to the trend and then fell off after the trend like dante right. found a way to keep it spice like spicy so like dante got popular doing the voice and the impersonation and then was like oh this ain't going to last forever. I need to be creative as a content person. Right. And just kept growing and growing and growing. And they have such a fantastic community. Um, like jo- like independent jewelry makers are making the Dante line. And they're always oh, yeah. sending Dante gifts. And wow. like it's really cool like just how supportive they are of them and, and their partner. Uh, which, like you, you, you feel like you're, you're – you felt like you – after watching their TikTok for a while and really supporting them and they, they, they do something that I'm trying to emulate as well as a content creator is – the, if you're a part of their community, if you're a fa- part of their live streams, or any, or you support them, they put enough of themselves out there that you feel like you're best friends with them, even without right. ever meeting them. You know, right. and it's funny because when I met Dante the first time, I was like, that they, they are so familiar looking, and I remember telling right. Lily, I'm like, I know them from somewhere, um. And, and like Dante on the stream is very like loud and just fun, right. but like in public, the Dante was very quiet and reserved and didn't like didn't make a scene or didn't conduct themselves as someone who has six hundred thousand subscribers, right? Um, which is kind of what I would like to be as well. Yeah, um, right. You know, but and then like the, I, they went to we went to another show that they were at, and I was like, yo. I know you from somewhere and they just like, I don't know. And they just walked away. <laughs> and then the, like the next time we met after that, I was like, yo, you're on TikTok," And he's like, yeah, right. I was like, no, I've been following you forever. I don't know you were living <laughs> around nice. here. And then nice. we, we started talking and there. And then I had, uh, uh, we were there for a drag show for Trixie Valentine. Then I had Trixie nice. Valentine on. And then Dante, I said, Dante was like, would you be interested? And they're like, yeah, of course. So here we are nice. many, many awesome. moons later. And, uh, Dante will be on the stream. Uh, very very fun person can't wait to watch it um what was the third six i don't know what that means um yeah i see your chest lily i'm sorry yeah you you kind of were saying what i was hold on oh yeah yeah so everything essentially what you were saying lily you were just kind of co-signing what i was talking about i apologize for not pulling it up um lily said when are you gonna have uh sharp's twin brother on (laughs) soon very very soon soon. yes can't wait most played superstars ginger mahal should be higher uh Six years, six channels. I think, I think, yeah, I, I started in 2018 ish. I think 
Maybe I maybe I'm, I'm all messed up. <laughs> but I had I had the IWEP Network channel, which then turned into interviews at Everyday People. Nice. And then I had the Tornado Tag. Then I had the Bang and Beers. Then I had Knockville in High School and Truth Behind Illusion. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And then this would be my sixth channel. Yeah, so six channels. Right. That's crazy. And I started in 2018. Yeah, I'm my, my math is mathing. <laughs> Joel says, let go, Poppy. <laughs> Dude, I, span, that's the only culture that can get away with calling you like their friend daddy or poppy. Right, right. And the girls like <laughs> and if a girl calls you daddy, you're like, I'm with it. <laughs> if, if if a white girl came up, she's like, What's up, daddy? I'm like, that's creepy. <laughs> I don't. You right. need to go to therapy. There's right. something happening. You need to go to therapy. <laughs> You're not allowed to say that. <laughs> nope. <clears throat> yeah, I need a third six for. So I need six K. Get me to six K. That would be the third six. Yeah. Six K. But is this the first time that he's won in a while? I feel like they're trying to give Ricochet a push. I just don't know what for. Like, what are they? What are they looking for for Ricochet? You know, right? Here's the thing: he's very good. They just don't know what to do with him, dude. Like, so going back and watching older wrestling, right? There's a lot yeah. of stuff in older wrestling that you're like, oh, they did so well. And I'm trying to like really pinpoint what that was. And the biggest thing that made older wrestling exciting is, for me at least, is like growing up, I didn't care about the world title because it was either Hogan and if Hogan didn't have it, I didn't care. Like, right. just did not give a shit if Hogan was a champion. So I attached more to the undercard. Right. And the undercard, like a guy like Ricochet, he would be in a storyline with Bobby the Brain Heaton, and, and the Heaton family would be trying to screw him every week, and then he'd be trying to get one up on the Heaton family. And right. there's no title involved. There's nothing going on, but there's a yeah. strong story that you give a shit about. Right. And I think like they – like, and they're doing that now with uh, the IC title. Like, yeah. It seems like if you're not going for a title, then your story doesn't matter. And, and the only one who's really doing that is like Dom. Like Dom right. – with his dad is a story that you give a shit about, but like they could invest more in other characters stories. And I think it would make, at least for me as a wrestling fan, more excited. Right. See, I'm next with a giant freaking Cubs. I have no belt. idea what any of that. <laughs> Someone help me with that. Someone I have help no me idea. With that. I, have no I, idea. I got Randy Orton. I got yeah, that. Well, opposite, Ola, yeah. So hold on, let's break it down. Ola. Ho, Ola is hello. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to read it in case it is something bad. So I'm not gonna go <laughs> word for word. Uh, K K is is that what? But I, is, I thought that was spelled with a Q, not a G. Yeah, I, I think I think that's the G. So that's different. Lily, help me out. <laughs> Lily, <laughs> I wanna. I wanna. Par I want you, Joel, to participate, but I don't know what to. <clears throat> oh, what happened with Randy Orton? There you go. Thanks, Lily. <laughs> uh, Randy, thank you. I appreciate you. Uh, Randy Orton is in a storyline. I can't speak it to you in Spanish, so I hope you at least can understand. <laughs> um, Randy Orton is in a storyline right now with Logan Paul, and it's Logan Paul, uh, Randy Orton, and Kevin Owens all going for the United States Championship. Yep. But unfortunately, I think Kevin Owens is inserted to be the guy who takes the pin. Oh, you think so? Yeah. Uh, I, I'm not saying this because I'm I, I'm an AEW fan and I'm not. Uh, and he called you light skinned. <laughs> oh, I, where? Where did that happen? <clears throat> anyway, um, <laughs> um, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, you've seen me karaoke. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm light skinned. There it is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you boy can rap. <laughs> um, yeah. So, uh, the uh, yeah, I, I, I kind of I just feel like Kevin Owens and Sammy would be two guys that would benefit from a new scene. I think, right. I think if they went somewhere else, uh, um, I think they'd benefit from a new new environment, new thing, and that's not like I want them out of WWE. Like, right. I just, I just like I think there's people in AEW who I think would be who can use a new scene. But the only problem is, is like AEW is kind of, and and this is a, and I'm a fan of AEW, but AEW is someone who like, uh, like Nick Nemeth can go to Impact and become a world champion tomorrow. Right. 
Yeah. But like yeah. it's it takes a lot for someone to leave another company, come to WWE and treat it like a world champion. You have to like earn your way up. Yeah. Um but I feel like a Ricky Starks would be great for uh, a WWE. I think Bill, yeah. I think Bill coming back as cast, but maybe not cast, just coming at, back as uh just instead of just big cast, like I think that would be a good move for him. Right. I think he he's earned his spot back. I think there's a lot of people who can bounce back around it and 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 make names for themselves in other companies, but uh yeah, I think Kevin and Sammy would would benefit, but that, it'd be a huge pay cut possibly unless AEW gives well, them yeah. what they want, but they just gave what, 2 million to Sasha? I thought it was like wasn't it 10 million to Sasha? Oh, was it 10? Was, was it, it 10? 10? Yeah, wasn't it 10? Yeah. Here's my yeah, thing. Yeah. I love Sasha. Like I'm proud of her. I'm, I'm what she whatever she's doing is great. But like if mm. Sasha's a ten million dollar buyout, then Kevin Kevin's gotta be like a 15 20. <laughs> right, right. I just I think he's so good. He is, he's very good. He's super good. We're uh it's pretty cool when you go check out my when I check out my eligibility eligibility now for the next tier of partnership. We're at three thousand three hundred and twenty six watch hours. Nice. So if we hit that one thousand watch hours and hit get to four K, we are fully sponsored. So any commercials that play on YouTube now, we get nice. monetization for and we get nice. money. Um, I don't know how much it would be, but I would be able to get paid for watch ads and short feed ads. So I guess there's commercials on shorts as well. And right. as someone who's been watching a lot of videos on YouTube lately, my God, there's a lot of commercials. Oh, there's a lot of commercials. It's crazy. And then sometimes you can't skip it. Those ones drive me insane because <laughs> I just yeah. want to skip it to watch. And then video. and then you turn on uh, someone's video and they're like, you only have like a certain window of video you're allowed to watch before you get a commercial. And they're like, today's sponsor of the podcast is, and they do an ad inside their own video. <laughs> and it's like, come on, my guy. <laughs> Speaking of ads, uh, in our links below, uh, Bray Wyatt documentary promo promo is up. I can't wait. I'm gonna sob like a freaking baby. It's crazy because like this documentary is coming out, but like at one point in time in the company people were like please don't book me with him because the stories don't go anywhere and now you know what i mean now we're like he was a genius he was a great human great fucking human i just could not get behind a lot of his storylines because they didn't go anywhere you know i was he's a huge ray fan i was a huge huge ray fan I, his entrance was dope to see live every time but uh yeah so links see the fiend live but but I saw Bray as the um, cult live. So did I. So did I. Um, so l below in the chat, um, this is not something that you guys obviously have to do, but if you can, it would be huge. Um, I put three companies, three independent wrestling companies that support me, do stuff with me, uh, fuck with me, essentially, uh, that are below. High Tension Wrestling Network um, that have their own YouTube channel, Facebook, social medias, Instagrams. Go follow them. New Era Pro Wrestling and PPW Entertainment. So um, if you guys are, you want to support or you have the means to do so, um, if you go and grab tickets, um, put 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 there are in the name or in the whatever it may be, like ABJ Podcast. If, you, if you're from somewhere and you cannot... Uh, um, physically be there um but you want to support because they support us go grab some tickets say it's the abj podcast in the notes or whatever it may be or buy them and then just let me a note know like hey here's our thing and i'll contact the promotion and say hey that's a comp ticket at the door if you guys want to give it to a little kid or if a family comes in and you want to knock one ticket off and it's courtesy of our podcast right i want to start doing that um i think it's really important to support your independent wrestling and and if you guys want to support people or companies that you know, give me that love and give me that support. This is a way we can give back to them. Um, listen, I would love for you guys to buy ABJ merchandise and P-shirts and Super Chats and Super Stickers, but there's people out there who are risking injury and, and stuff just to try to perform for all of us. And right. the more people we can get in the door and if we can get more people to become wrestling fans because maybe they got a free ticket or a family can save a couple bucks on a ticket and now they can go buy their kid a t-shirt. Right. And it, and it gives back to the wrestling, the wrestling community that way, because like 
walking in with a bunch of kids or your kid and then buying the ticket and the food. It, it's an expensive day. So if you can knock one of those ticket prices off, that dad can turn around and say, oh, I'm going to go buy this wrestler's uh, T-shirt because I didn't have to pay it at the door because we got comped by the ABJ podcast. Right. So right. Uh, do that. If you guys can, go grab a ticket and just let me know. You can send me a DM on any of my social medias and just say, hey, I bought this ticket and I will relay the information to the company and say, hey, that's either a donation via the ABJ podcast or a free ticket that you guys want to give away. It's right. something new I'm trying. Um, I don't really have it completely ironed out, and I'm sure we'll have hiccups here and there, but uh, it's just a way that I'm trying to get creative and not only grow my brand but help other people out and uh, and have some fun and support, support independent art and independent wrestling. CM Punk coming down. Samantha Irvin. Oh, my goodness. Uh, <laughs> Ryan Vox is all great companies. I totally, totally agree. And, and high tension has an entire brand of amazing companies they work with. Uh, so when I say high tension, if, if there's a, uh, if there's a brand in there uh, that obviously is part of them, then I, I'm encompassing all of you except smash. You guys suck. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, not you guys, just one, the rest of the, the roster is great. Just, yeah. Anyway, like a Rochi and wild LLC and CFU and, and high tension. All, all great. All great. Um, the other ones. Uh, he could eat my dick. I don't care. I said it. <laughs> I said it. What are they going to do? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see what CM Punk has to say to the world. <laughs> Love the roster, though. I will go out on a limb and say that. I think that roster is great. And uh, they give a lot of people good opportunities. So there's a lot of cool stuff there. Just when I went there, I tried my, my best to be a part of the team and I was pushed away. So fuck them. Right. More logs on my fire, baby. Now we're grown. Yep. Yep. But I'm not wrestling. Yeah, you're way ahead of me. I can hear your your TV through my screen through, through, the, through the audio. I'm gonna lower you just a little bit. I apologize. April knows what I'm talking about. Two at WrestleMania, they got suggestions. They say, Are you going to host WrestleMania? No. Ten years ago, if you asked me that, I would have thought hosting WrestleMania was beneath me, but man, I just want to be in trouble with the people. I wish WrestleMania was here in Chicago. <laughs> people ask me, Man, you're great in the ring, you're great on the bike, you're great. Even in commentary, why don't you try to be a referee? And I wonder, hmm, is there a title match at WrestleMania that maybe needs the most impartial referee? Oh. He's definitely not doing that, but that's a good tease. It's a good tease. Since I can't be there to buy a ticket. Well, you can buy a ticket virtually <laughs> online and right. then send me the information then I can give it back. Or you can do something like that where you can give somebody a membership to the channel uh, and then somebody can get those perks. So I appreciate that, Austin, for a gifted membership. Uh, hey. So how this works, everybody, is the more you interact and chat in the thing or the longer you're in the stream, uh, YouTube statistically gives you a better odds of receiving the free membership. And you get one free membership where you can use really cool emojis and stuff like that uh so maybe by the end of the stream tonight it'll gift that membership sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't it's a crapshoot but we'll see how it goes right right kai got it what's that the uh the membership yeah did it pop up? Uh, 
I, I don't think it, it popped up, but he said, yo, let's go. Thanks, Chief. So I guess Kai. Oh, yeah. Up. Kai does have the little the little logo thing there. Yeah. So Kai that happened me. quick. They so picked that, was, that one fast. That was real quick. I mean, Kai is on the chat a lot. So. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that, that makes sense. <laughs> Austin, my little brother, bought Kai a membership. Let's see. Let's let's. Uh... Yeah, Kai. Kai is the newest member to the, to the to the stream. The family there. there. It went immediately. Says Lily. That's sick. How many people we got in the stream tonight? Yeah, thirteen. Thirteen. Thirteen people. 13 in the YouTubes. Ah, he said he said the thing. He says he said the, he said the thing. All right, so I just gave go. away five memberships. Boom. And the winner of those five memberships for the month is Adam the guy. I did it immediately as well. Adam the guy. <laughs> oh, geez. Pete DeLong, Ryan go. Vox, and Danny Frederick are all the free members of the month nice. uh, memberships giveaway. So, yeah, we just gave away five memberships. Once again, congratulations to Adam the guy, Pete DeLong, bro, bro. Ryan Vox, and Danny Frederick, you all got one month of of, of uh, memberships that you guys can use, and you can use the little cool emojis. Throw up a Gears Ice Tea. Throw up a little Gears Ice Tea up in the chat. Gears Ice Tea. Yeah, chuck one up in there. Chuck a, <laughs> chuck a Gears Ice Tea in the chat. You can do it. Yo, Punk's mad, bro. Punk's big mad. Chuck, chuck a chocolate milk up in there. Chuck a I Heart ABJ in the chat. <laughs> I like you know what honestly out of all the things I think that's my favorite thing that you can do is gift memberships. I think that's super cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, good call, Kai. Uh, go, freak. freak. So yeah, if you're on the YouTube, right? And if they're on the thing there's going to be a dollar uh a little dollar thing and it says um for gifting memberships you have to opt into it um so when you do that you have to you have to turn on the option i'm not exactly sure how to do it though. i'm trying to trying to figure it out but there's a way that you click on that little dollar thing or you click on something and it says uh opt in to be eligible to win but maybe that has gone away since then because I, I, if, maybe if you haven't opted in it just gave away five free ones right away but to double check it just go to the little dollar sign and then go to membership gifting, and there should be a tab there that says opt in for this. If not, let me know so we, we, we're we learning as we go. Right. Oh, <laughs> that's crazy. Crazy line. I'm not there yet. What a night so far tonight, though. Two dollars super chat from Freak Maniac, five from Anthony Graves, a gifted membership, and then we decided to give the last five memberships of the month out right here, and then we'll be giving more memberships away for Mania Weekend and oh. Dynasty. Dynasty and Mania are the two nights I'm going to be giving away memberships. What is this, Batman and Joker? You probably have a weapon and you're going to take me out before Mania. 
Always pipe bombing on the commentary table. Don't shoot up my kilt, you perv. <laughs> Don't look up my <laughs> kilt, you perv. That's my I favorite. love that line. <laughs> Drew's finding himself as a heel. It's great. I've been enjoying his, his uh, heel turn. It's been quite enjoyable. Even his uh, posts on his socials are hilarious. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's inside baseball. Oh. Who chose you? Have the balls to say his name. <laughs> oh, that's a Vince line. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> Look at the bell bottom pants on Seth Rollins. Here comes Rollins. <laughs> CM Punk's face as there was his music hit, and he fell to the floor. That was perfect. <laughs> he sold that so well. <laughs> wow. This, the drip on Seth Rollins tonight is legit. Do you think he buys this and he's like, I got uh, don't take the tags off. I got to return this later. Absolutely not. I think he has a whole wardrobe in his house full of this shit. I think he loves this shit. Yeah, but he never wears the same one twice. Well, not on live TV, but you don't know what he wears off. You know, off There's zero off chance screen. he wears that in his public life. <laughs> I, I bet you he does. I bet you he has no shame at all in that game. Oh, I don't think he has shame or I don't think he's afraid, but I... I definitely don't think he dresses like that he seems like a jean t-shirt guy i'm gonna be honest mm. i feel like at home in his house yes but i feel like when he leaves the house i just can't see him just rocking jeans and a shirt <laughs> If someone can grab a picture of Seth tonight and send it to Lily, that'd be great. Somebody help me out. Chicago going hard for Seth. I love you. Love to see it. Wow! Look at that. See, I want to undercut, but I don't know if I would be able to go that much of an undercut like Seth Rollins has. But uh, well. I it looks comfortable. Like, like on the sides, you mean? Yeah. I, so I, I definitely want to get my sides cleaned up and, and clean up a little bit. Right. But uh, I just got to – I don't know if I would be able to – I don't know if I would go that much of an undercut. Last week in wrestling podcast, uh, stopping in to say what's up, what's going on, brother. Go check them out. So show that support over there. We're, we're doing pretty well tonight. We got thirteen yeah, yeah. people watching. Appreciate you guys. If you if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Uh, you can also support the channel by getting one of those memberships. Join our membership. You can do it for as little as a dollar. Uh, we already we already have a, a, a world champ. Who will be our first triple crown or grand slam? Who's going for a hey. hundred dollar membership? <laughs> <laughs> The, I want to yeah. find a way to make a punk inspired shirt, but using the Pennsylvania flag or Pennsylvania ish stuff. Ooh. It's harder because Pennsylvania has um, some elements to it that are like not intricate, but like uh, I 
uh, it has the horses. Right. Yeah, it's there's a lot going on with the with the logo. Damn, Rollins. Oh, I actually, as I'm looking at the flag, I, I think I came up with a funny idea. Nice. <laughs> that would be fun. CM, I don't think CM Punk actually wants to be the guest referee. He talked himself into it because now the crowd wants it. Guest commentator. Oh wait, no, you're you're uh, ahead of me. Never mind. <laughs> Pug did the one to three count. <laughs> this promo is very entertaining. It's off the rails, but they're having fun with it. I love it. <laughs> I don't even know what what Punk said. He said, "I, I." He goes, "All fairness, I don't think I could be objectively fair with you two dipshits in the ring." Right. And then Drew McIntyre just gets the mic and goes, "PG, brother," and puts the <laughs> mic back down. <laughs> Love that. I want Seth's title. That's a cool title. I do want it. Nope. <laughs> Brock goes, I go way higher with the undercut than that. Yeah, I... I yeah. I don't think I can do it. I can't have the. I call it the Pidgeotto. I don't want the Pidgeotto haircut. <laughs> you know what I mean? The Pidgeotto. Truthfully. <laughs> <laughs> The way things are going for you, it's about as close to the world championship as you're ever going to get again. So look, you do whatever you want at WrestleMania. That belt really has grown on me. So has the new color. I mean, I'm I'm biased because black and gold, but that <laughs> Roman's title has grown on me too. Even though I think after it's nice, I think it's changing after Mania. I think it's turning into a wing a winged eagle variant. I really do. It I think should, Cody's bringing that I'm back. Sick of the name brand belt that just looks like a giant belt. <laughs> You're gonna get the giant W on it, regardless. Just not as gaudy. That's all I ask. Like when The Rock unveiled it the, the first time, it was it was pretty cool. And then when they changed the logo to the what it is now, it became not cool at all. <laughs> I'm stealing that. I'm stealing that on commentary. ABJ, why are you doing commentary? Oh, this company brought me in to do something that the rest of this town, this roster <laughs> couldn't do. Make this show interesting. That's, yeah, that's a great line. I love. I'm going full heel when I get back. Full heel. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> 
I'm going to sell some I hate ABJ shirts. Hell yeah. Pokes out. Bam. He just did a stomp on bell bottoms. I love that. I love that. There it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Monday night, Rollins. We're at 14 now. People watch on YouTube or likes? Yep, yep, YouTube. Nice, nice. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. Shinsuke. I love that, he, that he's still doing this. It makes me happy. So is he like the the boss of Monday Night Raw? Like he's he's your heel on Monday Night Raw, but then he doesn't get a title or oppor- a pay per view opportunity. I guess so. Because the entire time he feuded with Cody, it was never it never broke past a Raw. It was nope. only like yep. He's the he's like the heel in your thorn on TV to get you to a pay per view. Yeah, I mean the dude seems to be happy. He's just happy that he's getting paid at this point. <laughs> like Meek Mill will be at WrestleMania. There it is. There's your announcement. There's your here's your PA boy, Meek Mill. Wow. You know who we're gonna be hanging out with? West Side Gun. Gun. Yeah. That's suplex. Huge <laughs> <Westside> fan. <Gun. laughs> Actually, I'm gonna so I am going to take time out to listen to West Side Gun. Yeah, yeah. Um maybe maybe I'll do a a bonus episode Wednesday. So maybe Wednesday I'll drop something. That because like Wednesday and Thursday, uh, we'll be at Suplex. Or sorry, not just Suplex. We'll be at uh, Labor of Labor Love. Love. So I have an episode already to go out for Thursday. Uh, maybe I take the thirtieth off, which is Tuesday, and I I put out a not cool in high school for that episode. There and maybe go. I do an album review. Okay. Of West Side Gun. Okay. Maybe we do a West Side Gun album review. Okay. In preparation to right. seeing him at Suplex Vintage Wrestling. Right. Would you would you like to join me on that review? I'd be down. All right, I'd be down. Let's review West Side Gun. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> How many albums does he have out? I don't know. Probably too many. Do we have any West Side Gun fans in the chat? And if we do, uh, tell us your favorite West Side Gun song or album. I typed in West Side and it came up West Side Story. West Side Story. I don't think that's what we want. West Side <laughs> no. Gun. Um, let's see. His latest album is called Hall and Nash 2. Oh, nice. I love that. That's a good name. Uh, so, so it's introduction. Next song is called Ray Mysterio. Nice. Fork in the Pot. Michelangelo. 94 Ghost Shit. Pete versus Andre. Fucking Get High. Judas. And Holland Nash 2 <laughs> is the album. Love that. Uh, what else do we got for here? I'm trying to see this. Supposedly, he's a huge wrestling. How He has a House of Glory song. I wonder if that has to do with House of Glory in New York. Word. Um, see what Jalen Rose song. Revenge of, Fl- Revenge of Flip Legs is a song. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to point out the ones that look like wrestling. Super Kick Party song. Right. Shout outs in Soho. That's funny. That's uh, good. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I'm going to be in Philly that week, so I, I had to figure out how I do that. But 
how do what how we're gonna record it well at least from my end well we're gonna record it probably within the, the sometime this week if you're free yeah, yeah, yeah it won't be live we'll just record it on our own and then air it later yeah yeah, yeah. Um, Westside Gun is live. an underdog from the underground city. Buffalo bred rapper Westside Gun brings the sound of 90s hardcore rap into the 21st century, along with his brother and fellow MC Conway. Uh, with I think Conway is going to be there too. I, th- um, I could be wrong though. Um, right. With their tales of street life, drugs, gun violence, uh, the, the pair have employed sample heavy productions in the gritty East Coast tradition of the locks, the mob deep, Capone and Noriega and the Wu-Tang Clan in addition to his work at uh, Conway and their Grisilda label mates West Side Gun browns out his own oh my god someone just DM'd me and asked if I'm um yeah but but i believe that there is uh heavy influences to professional wrestling into his music so right it'll be a lot of fun definitely sounds that way (laughs) at least with the names of the songs (laughs) <laughs> what day and night and i'll join we'll, we'll we're trying to we'll try to lock that down um what's today 25th monday what time do you get off work 5 30 5 30 i don't get home till we, around like 6 6 15 we can uh we can either do it wednesday night after dynamite or we can do it uh friday night and skip smackdown or before SmackDown or whatever it may be. Or Friday night in general because you don't have work the next day. No, just let me know. I'm game. Because I don't want to... If we if we did it at 6, then we have to rush to get it done before Smack, before AEW starts at 8. Right, right. Um, and I don't want to rush it. But right. I'm thinking either Friday night or Wednesday night. We'll, okay. we'll figure it out. Yeah. Uh, didn't they used to do Daniel Garcia's theme? Possibly. Maybe. All right, well then we have it. West Side Gun, and we'll be doing it with uh, with with Parm and uh, Captain Butters. <laughs> Captain Butters. Austin, send me your logo again so I can put your logo up on my screen when I make my thumbnail. But we're gonna do. He wants to do Hitler. Where uh, where where's Hermes? <laughs> Is that the album or the song title? That's the album. Uh, okay. uh, we're gonna do the newest album. We're gonna do his newest one. If you want to listen to both and talk about it, we can, or we could do it for another 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 time. Um, but we're gonna do Hall and Nash too, because I think that's uh, I think that's the move if we're meeting them for a wrestling show. I think we do Hall and Nash too. Yeah, that's what Austin said. Do the new album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Just send me your send me your um. Uh, your stuff so I can put it in the thumbnail. So when does Kofi turn heel? When's it going to happen? So is everyone just going to be wearing those belts now throughout the entire show? Yeah, I guess so. All the fan, the, the fan, the fan belts are going to be all yeah, over the place. Because that's now too. I've seen. Yo, look at Drew McIntyre in the back talking to Paul Heyman. How do you notice all these little nuances? How do you see that stuff? <laughs> I'm a production guy, man. That's the small things I would put in the back of shots to make things look like something, but without saying it. Right. I'm not saying you're wrong. I was saying I I didn't see it until you until you know like you said it. I saw it. Like <laughs> uh, where did it, where did Austin send that to? Did he send it to Facebook. Sent it nowhere.
Ooh. Discord. There we go. Oh, I like your other logo better. The South Park one's fine, but I like I like the the one with the melting butter. <laughs> I think it looks more. I'm gonna be honest. I think it looks more professional. That's more just my take. But I'll use that if that's the one you want to push. I'll use it. But I think your other logo looks cleaner. Just my feedback. You can tell me to fuck myself. <laughs> I'm going to try and do the thing of a New Japan one for me, but I don't know what to what to put on top. <laughs> Giant piece of shit. No, absolutely not. <laughs> I, mean, I have a joke, but it's fucked up. But it's it's of course. it's funny because I love you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what you should make. Oh God, I'm scared. You should lean into your your bit a little bit with a little bit of humor, and you should make a Looney Tunes logo. But you remember how Porky Pig at the end does? That's all, folks. But with the stutter, you should like that's Sean, folks. But have oh, like the da, da 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 Like lean into it a little bit. You know what I mean? Like because here's the thing, I'm not saying it to pick on you, but like you are someone who's overcoming something that most people wouldn't even dare to get on a microphone and try to do because of that problem, whether it be a speech right. impediment or a stutter or something like that. Yeah. And I think it's really cool that you're like, fuck that. I'm not going to let this dictate who I am. I'm going to lean into it. Right. So I think that logo, like a cartoon you, like that's all <laughs> folks. But like, I think that'd be funny. I think it'd be funny. It wouldn't I, say I, Sean, I used though. to do, a, I used to do a podcast with someone who stuttered like really bad and, and, and I'd get them drunk. And we and he would <laughs> yeah. I, I think that's dope. I'm someone who overcame it, who who worked really hard. I, I still stutter sometimes. Yeah. Uh, only around you for some reason. When I'm around you, I start stuttering again. It's worse. Yeah. <laughs> it's my. I curse. stuttered at the bar the other night. It's my curse. <laughs> yeah. You're passing uh, on to me. That, that listen, that's what happens. I start becoming more normal, and the person next to me gets a little bit more more weirder. <laughs> I gotta buy one of Austin's t-shirts I, I want to get um, that uh, I think I have his other logo to be honest with you I think I have it saved <laughs> My dad, the head shrinkers. Oh, if Adam had a shirt, I would buy one for it. One of his, but but he has mine. <laughs> well, make him one. He's part of the Ben Frank connection. Get him his own shirt. <laughs> the power's in your hand, jabroni. <laughs> I don't have his butters. His other butters logo. He's going to send it to you the minute he said. Yeah. He's saving me time because I don't have to go to Canva and then try to pull it. I think I have it saved in my Canva, but not on. Uh... Yeah, but I have to figure out a way to make this logo. Did I not save it? Oh, uh -oh. my God. I'm such an asshole. Horrible. Horrible. I have to play my 2K. I haven't played it in so goddamn long. Yeah, I need you to go back and play some more. <laughs> yeah, that logo is way cleaner. Let's uh, let's do a poll. Let's do oh, a poll in go. the chat. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> here we go. Send it to the chat. We're gonna. You guys give me a poll here. All twelve of us. What What do you What would you rather wear in a T-shirt? This logo. Are this logo A or B? A or chat A or B? I think personally, I think B looks more professional and cleaner, and like it looks like a high def image where like this one kind of the, the circle and everything is super simple and clean. It looks like South Park. Like I, I know what the look is going for. It's going for that South Park look, but I think this looks more professional. 
Right. Also, this is what I have to figure out how to make into a <laughs> PA inspired T-shirt. There's a lot that, going on there. That's, Look, yeah, there's that's a fucking a air of corn. There's and, like, a lot happening. <laughs> there's so much. I think instead of virtue, liberty, and independence, it'd be funny if it said, I love ABJ. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> or Anthony Blackwell Jr. in the ribbons. Right. <clears throat> Not a bad plan. I don't, what the fuck is the corn there though for? I, I don't. I get or agriculture, but like there's fucking corn and there's hay and then there's fucking whatever those fucking leaves with red berries are. I don't even. I, I've been in Pennsylvania my whole life. I don't know what any of that stands for. What the hell is the stick in the ground with the white thing holding it up? What's going I on here? I don't know. No idea. <laughs> Listen, it's your state, man. What's going on with your state, bro? Fuck you. Let's go look at your goddamn state's flag. <laughs> if your flag if your flag's dope, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> it's probably not. It's probably not. That could be an episode of Oh my god, yours is terrible too. I'm sure it is. Show it. Dude, Show these it fucking now. states it. need updated logos. <laughs> Put it in there. I want to see it in the chat. Dude, yours looks like a tarot card. I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does. Send me your state flags, everybody. I'll, I'll Google them. And fucking, <laughs> just, just, we'll roast just, your state just flags. Just be a full segment. Just roast everybody's state flags. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. This is bad. New Jersey is bad. It's the ugliest color of all time. <laughs> Bring it up. <laughs> oh, Here's the fun thing. You know that dumb little thing in the, the top of the Pennsylvania one? New Jersey has it as well. Of course. I don't, And I don't know what it is. Hold on, it's, not, it's sending, it's saving as a web image, and I don't want that. And I'm trying to find like a higher quality image of it, right? Because it's Jersey and everything's not high quality. You know what I mean? Shut up. <laughs> it's high quality. It's, I think it's impossible <laughs> to find the state flag of Jersey in high quality imagery. I think it's not true. I think it's like a rule in the state. <laughs> no, it's not. Shut up. <laughs> Fun with flags. <laughs> there you go. That's the, that's the new segment on the ABJ Hangout. Fun with flags. <laughs> Look at this fucking there thing. There it is. Look at that. Monstrous. So you guys have a lady with a hat on a stick. You yep. have liberty and prosperity. No yep. one's prospering in New Jersey. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. She's got a cornucopia. They got the terrible dresses. We, whatever the sled is that we got going on here. <laughs> You've got three of them. We got one. We have a sled on a beach with a little boat in the background. <laughs> you guys, we have two horses and an eagle on top. You just went with a horse head like the yeah. Godfather. <laughs> the worst vine work I've ever seen. And a scuba diver helmet. What oh. the hell is a scuba diver helmet? How did they even know what a scuba diver was at the point in time to put that in their logo? <laughs> horrible state flag that's a terrible one now, new york that new york new york state flag let's look up new york <laughs> look up new york for dylan <laughs> terrible state flag <laughs> look up new york well like he's saying and it's filigree that you saw filigree yeah it's terrible i don't care what you, <laughs> whatever you want to call it it's it's awful these flags need to get revamped get revamped all the flags yeah, these these clip art flags ain't holding it no more. <laughs> Bring up New York and then we'll go from there. Well, it's commercial. And a night helmet. That's not a night helmet. That's a scuba diver. <laughs> That's a That's scuba, a scuba diver. That's an old school scuba diver cartoon right there. Get the hell out of here. I know scuba. I know Scooby Doo villains when I see them. <laughs> Scooby Doo villains. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> all right what the hell is happening <laughs> what is <here>? going on <laughs> so they Let's... have a wizard hat on the stick <laughs> lady justice <laughs> what's up with the hat on a stick i don't know <laughs> excelsior is that like that's like a fucking excelsior. that's a that's a fucking um stan lee thing i don't know, I don't know what the rest of that thing, says but he says it yeah uh, oh, a crown at her feet. I didn't I look at the put, peep the crown at the feet down there with the little Jesus sandals. Right, right. <laughs> horrible, horrible <laughs> clip art of an eagle. You know what I mean? Like just the right. worst. 
just to say, Pennsylvania's eagle looks way cooler. <laughs> that's that's bad. It's bad stuff. The sun looks like the Teletubbies right there. It's a bad flag. Bad flag. Dude, you know how you know Maryland's flag is good? They show it everywhere. <laughs> Ryan says Maryland, and then Lily says Texas. Let's go. Oh, my God. Texas. <laughs> I, I, I'm terrified to go pull that one up. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Maryland, kept it, Maryland kept it simple. Let's look at Texas. Texas is simple, too. Texas got it down. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's easy. It's an easy simple? flag. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad. I don't I don't hate it. All I right. think the Northeast got to figure out their flag game. <laughs> yeah. We, we gotta the only our... one who has it right is, is so far Maryland. <laughs> oh, Judgment Day comes down and interferes. So here's Texas. Clean and simple. Clean. clean. Yeah, it's good. It's Maryland clean. nailed it. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> What eight-year-old drew that? <laughs> Dude, they're like, all right, New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania. We're going to do a kindergarten <laughs> contest. Who can draw yeah. the best flag? And we'll best keep it one. forever. It'll be funny. <laughs> the tri-state area. Who has the best Horrible. flag? Horrible. Horrible flags. <laughs> Maryland, the Maryland flag, you can literally buy on everything. You can buy it on anything. Right, right. Lily's trying to told me I need to start doing uh, more TikTok content. Or shorts or reels, but instead of like um, that, like you know how people do reviews of videos, like they right. talk over the video. Like yeah, they yeah. Want me, she told me I would do. I should do those. I would be good at them. But I think so. Maybe Absolutely. that'll be a series. Do I pull up like make fun of your state flag on TikTok? Is that is that, what? that would totally be a thing. That should totally be a thing. Do the commentary for it. I gotta Jesus. find my niche. I gotta find it. <laughs> You're all niches, not just one. You're I'll save you're, money trying to inter. You know, all these wrestlers are trying to charge money for interviews now, so I got to figure yeah, something out. Yeah. Commercial break. <laughs> oh, Judgment Day's fucking everybody up. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Or not. We had a really good conversation about Damian Priest on my last podcast with the Brothers Gray. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Or not Brothers Gray, with uh, Gabe Gabe Hodder from uh, Primal Fear. So yeah. Gabe, Gabe, and the whole Primal Fear are all Monster Factory kids, and yeah, yeah, they were, and and and, and Damien was uh, our Punisher was one of their main uh, main dudes who like really took him under their wing and and done yeah. stuff, and they did a lot of stuff with him. And even when he was in ROH and stuff, he he brought them along the ride, helped them get into ROH and stuff like that. Like, put said a lot of cool things about him, and just like they were there for his body transformation and him really yeah. kicking in the high gear to get to that next stage, dude. Like, I'm. I want him to be a world champion. I think that'd be super oh, sick. Hell yeah. What did he say in your ear, Cody? What did he whisper in your ear? He said that my dad killed someone in 85. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> Mick's in the chat. Well, Mick and Brooke are in the chat. What's going on, used to? You love birds? Used to. Used to. Used guys? Used use, use, use guys. Used guys. Do we have any more flags to look at? All of them. <laughs> what about Kai? Where's, uh, where's Kai from? That's your mama. Your mama. Lily says, look up the flag for Kansas and Michigan for Jake. (laughs) 
There's two more. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> a bad one? Oh. <laughs> Another bad one? <laughs> Kansas is pretty rough. Oh, Kansas is pretty bad. What is up with this clip art? Like, they are. <laughs> and then add uh, Arizona for, for uh, Freak. Uh, what do we say? Kansas and... Michigan and Arizona. Isn't isn't um Michigan's pretty rough too. <laughs> <laughs> Michigan's actually all right. All right. What was the other one? Arizona. Arizona. Arizona's is simple. It's clean. I like Arizona's. I've seen Arizona's okay. before. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Arizona's not bad. All right, here we go. I'm going to upload them right now. All right, cool. <laughs> this is fun with flags, guys. <laughs> fun with flags. This is the segment we do now on Hangout with ABJ. You're here for that vi- riveting wrestling content, but that's not what we're going to give that's you. That's not what we're here for. We're here for flags. Yeah, we're, not here to, we're not here to talk wrestling. We're here to roast crazy? flags and tear them down <laughs> today's tight's flag talk well, arizona's arizona knows what they're doing you know what i mean that's, simple that, that, see, see that's dope that's dope I like it's that. easy it's that's easy dope. flag kansas clip art central all right so <laughs> clip art central uh this oh, looks man. like on super nintendo when you're playing the oregon trail right yeah that's what this looks like this looks like if you're playing um kansas's center logo looks like uh if 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 uh if Stardew Valley was a Super Nintendo game, you know what I mean? Right, right. Yeah, that, that sunflower on top is pretty bad. That's it, a terrible. It's pretty bad. It's pretty it's, bad. It's pretty, it's pretty awful. Pretty, there's look at all those stars on there. That's that's a lot of stars going on. A lot of stars Kansas up top. <laughs> the, the I will say the purple mountain with the with the sunrise looks kind of dope. I'll yeah, give it, it a little it, credit it there. That looks kind of cool. cool. Shout out for making the farmer white. That could have been problematic. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I don't know what. What do we got in the field? Is that Indian shooting buffalo going on in the back? I don't there? know. That, I don't know. <laughs> it's guys on horses shooting arrows at it looks like buffalo turtles. I don't know what's happening back there. That was going on. And then the Oregon Trail's happening. <laughs> they're leaving a log cabin and they're off to find new land. All right. What about my, Yikes. What about, what about Michigan? Uh, <laughs> dying of dysentery in Kansas. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, what else we got here? What do we say? Michigan. Michigan. Michigan's is all right, it's bad, but I like it. It's bad, it's bad but, but I, I like, like it. it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mich- Let's just rock the moose. You know what I mean? We got a moose. Oh yeah, the moose. Yeah. <laughs> the moose. Not a bad eagle. Not a bad eagle. I don't know what this Latin up there on top is. That could be problematic. We don't know what that is. This looks like a coffee can. You know what I mean? Like this looks like it could be a logo. And I wouldn't hate it. Right. The, right, I don't know right. what the Eagles hold. Eagles holding arrows with a little with a fillet with with some uh, yellow berries. We have the red berries in PA. I don't know what's going yeah. on there. <laughs> and then and they they're really into circumcisions. I don't know what's going on in the bottom there. Circumcision Circum- spice. spice is a new coffee flavor. <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening. <laughs> but yeah, what was the other one? Uh, Mississippi. We got Illinois as well from yeah. uh, Henry. Illinois, Mississippi. And uh, yeah, an elk, an elk, and uh, and a moose. That's what we got going on there. I don't mind the elk and moose. M- Mississippi, I'm not going to lie. These southern flags, I feel like, are going to be problematic, and we got to be careful what we pull up. Right, right. And Mississippi did that. Yeah, Mississippi. <laughs> Mississippi. <laughs> yeah, we. I don't know. Mississippi has a new flag, I think. I think they, they updated their flag because their right. first flag was problematic. Did, did the new flag. Did the new flag. <laughs> uh, so the Mississippi flag is very similar to Texas flag, where it had the red, white, and blue thing. But in the set of the top corner being, like, stars – it's the Confederate flag. So yeah, oh, that's great. Lovely. But Mi- Mississippi decided, hey, Let's it's get a okay new one. <laughs> to upgrade. <laughs> Let's and do they, a new. This is nice. That's better. A lot less hateful. You that's know? better. It's a lot better. <laughs> I don't hate it. Good good for you, Mississippi. Updating with the times. Yeah. <laughs> I knew one of these flags are gonna be a problem. And Mississippi, <laughs> you didn't let down. What about Illinois? <laughs> Sir come spice. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Freak. Christ. And we're canceled. <laughs> what am I looking up? Illinois. Illinois. Yeah. 
Illinois is not bad. Oh yeah. All right. All right. It it honestly, I, I it looks like cool American traditional tattoos. Okay. Okay. <laughs> like you know when you go get those sailor tattoos of like yeah, eagles. Yeah, yeah. Illinois is rocking that cool sailor tattoo. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I could rock that. Oh yeah. I don't hate that at all. No, 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 no not even a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. It's pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> What's happening on Raw? Who cares when you can have fun with flags? <laughs> Calm down. I do like that mask, though. That mask is dope. I like the uh, silver. The, uh, the shine. Listen, Lily. We'll uh, we'll take what we can get. You know what I mean? It's uh... <laughs> Weird. Here's the thing. If someone can help me out, that'd be great because I'm bouncing back and forth. And I'm trying to watch the stream, read a chat, and do everything else. On Discord, send me flags you want me to review. That there are Put go. it in the chat, and then somebody can Google them and find them and then send me the photo so I can pull them up. And you can there either you send go. them on Facebook Messenger or Discord. Help me out a little bit. I'll do more flags, but you got to send them to me. Yeah, not a lot of ring entries tonight. They can't because The Rock and CM Punk and all those guys took up a lot of time in promos. Yep. Andrade, here's a guy left a left WWE, fired from WWE, went to AEW, didn't do a lot, and now he's back, and it's a good change of scenery for him. I think he's, this is his first match back too. Uh, once again, sending me the flag, and we'll look at it. <laughs> Those last guy They're bringing moves. back the slammies. That's going to be a thing. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Happy 1K, everybody. But I think it's going to be on during the um, fan access stuff. Got you. That's when. That's when it's going to be. <clears throat> I think uh, you weren't there when he talked about it, but I think Westside got you. Have you been to the new Suplex location? I have not. Oh my god, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna coom. It's crazy. Was, yeah. So you walk in. Adam said the same thing. He, he said the first room you're out. in looks like you're in a steel cage, and Love then hanging it. from the top of the cage is a belt off a of Money in the Bank thing, and then the whole wall is covered with belts for sale, and then there's luchador masks that go around the top of the cage. Love it. And then there's like a giant neon suplex sign, and then there's ropes along the wall, so it looks like you're inside of a ring. And then you go in, and there's a steel cage, all with fi like loose figures, like rubber nice. band to yeah, the wall, yeah. so you can buy loose figures. Then there's a whole bunch of DVDs and T-shirts for sale, and then there's a whole Love bunch it. of eight by tens and figures going up the stairs. Then you go upstairs, and uh, old Russell Fest is downstairs, the old Cole Arcade. Right, and there's right. a pinball machine that's not accessible yet. Then the upstairs has video game consoles that you can play video mm. games. That and then, sick. and then in the very back is like saloon doors, and it's this, it's the Austin 316 bar, and it's all the whole room is nothing but stone cold stuff, and it's like Love a little it. bar, like there's a bar in there you can sit at. It's crazy. That's they, awesome. They, yeah, the the new shop is is really. So cool I'm gonna looking. be broke, is what you're saying. Awesome. Love that. Oh my god, she scared the piss out of me. Who are you looking for? He's right there. My mom's desperate to get this cat to eat treats, but he doesn't take them like from your hand. Right, you guys right. got to put him down and help. No, he likes these. Oh, never mind. She's found. She's oh, found the. There you, you know. go. Found so to get it the he didn't take. It. He didn't want no catnip. Oh, not these. As he does. Oh, he does. he's he's taking it. There you go. Put it inside his home. He likes to eat. The, he like he likes the comfortability inside his little thing. No. <laughs> I, I think I got sent some flags. Uh, here we go. Oh boy. 
Oh boy. <laughs> Bring on the flags. <laughs> oh boy. All right. So United States, not not the only ones making some pretty bad flags. All right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, these are uh-oh. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Our We're friends down trouble. under have sent We're us some trouble. flags. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so first one we'll do is the the, the city of Adelaide, the city of Adelaide, in All Australia. Right. Oh, uh, we got a boat. I, is... I like the cross. The cross is cool. Cool yeah, color schemes. Cool, but the boat, the, the the bullhead is pretty rough. The little the little whatever wheat. Hey, I don't know wheat. what's up with the the goat, the dead ram, or the dead right. goat <laughs> being hung up by its belly. The dead like, ram, like, like it's about <laughs> to be sent to slaughter. I don't know what's happening there, but uh. It uh, spoiler alert. That's a trend in Australia. Is 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 go to Rams because uh, the city of Melbourne, uh, they doubled up. They made that thing really <laughs> floppy. That's a real really floppy. floppy. It's a, a real, real floppy, floppy dead <laughs> dead animal. All right. Then we got a big whale, and then we got a bull uh, with got a, a very sharp penis, <laughs> uh, and uh, and a boat in a boat that's and that's them leaving australia because the flag's that bad that they're out of here but they did show love to you know their 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 uh their owners the uk with that royalty helmet the royalty right, crown you right know? at least they're showing love there you know uh, it's a it's boy, very that limp, is olympus dead it's, it's animal very ever. let's look at that again real quick. i want that on a t-shirt i just want that Absolute. just that limp yeah boy <laughs> that's rough that's pretty bad. That's like that's like a title belt <laughs> hanging from the ceiling. Right. That, that's the ram on a ladder match right there. Oh my god. Yikes. Stop it. It's the first fleet. No, it's the first fleet it's out the first of here. Fleet. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yo, this island has dinosaurs. Let's We're get out. out of here. <laughs> Everything that bites you here, you die. Yeah. <laughs> You see how sharp that bull's penis was? We're yeah, out of here. Dude, we're out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh, we import a lot of sheep. Apparently, that's what the sheep's about. Gotcha. Yeah, but it's interesting. Dead, extra dead. Yeah, well, well they import them. Dead. They carry them over by helicopter. <laughs> it's just like ah. <laughs> oh no. It's like when they. It's like when they drop the. Uh, the sheep into the uh, the raptor pen in, in Jurassic Park. Right. It's like hung by its belly. And it's like, no, no. And the raptor tear it apart. Oh, Christ. Oh, that's funny. Jesus. <laughs> All right. For I mean, in the States. Oh, no. That's funny. Funny. That's, that's a, it's like this is a good bit. This is a good bit. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> we do reaction videos here on the ABJ Hangout. Clip that if you want. If you want. Uh, if you want to use an ABJ makes fun of your flag on your TikTok, go for it. Andrade gets the win. Where's Andrade from? What's his flag look like? <laughs> Boy, I, I can't get over that. Look at this. Look at this fucking sheep. <laughs> that poor guy. <laughs> that He's poor. having a bad time. Very bad time. That sheep looks good. Adelaide looks good. The bull, not so much. No, the bull. That's like a real very... low-budget Chicago right. Bulls logo. But <laughs> that sheep looks okay. The, the right. wheat is, is generic, but it looks good. The ship looks cool. But Melbourne. Melbourne lost it. You need Melbourne an update. update. Melbourne lost it. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> borrow Adelaide's sheep on their flag. <laughs> borrow Adelaide's sheep. It's fine. You can do it. It'll work. Speaking of Australians, there's mommy. <laughs> Speaking of. Oh, look at these little graphics. Women's champ, Rhea Ripley. They love Hungry Jacks in Pennsylvania. I've never heard of a Hungry Jack. I don't know what Hungry Jack is. It is cool. I like that. What's a Hungry Jack? Uh, oh, isn't that the snack box that's like of the popcorn? And there's always like a little surprise inside. I see it all. Hungry the, Jacks, all the time. Ascend, I'm guessing it's it's a somewhere else's version of Burger King. It looks like Burger King. <laughs> 
I'm thinking of something else entirely. I just realized what I'm thinking of. It literally, it literally looks like a Burger King logo. Yeah, thanks, Lily. I know I'm dumb. It just hit me now what that is. All right, so we got now. Now we're now we're getting tested with flags from Australia. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Okay. I think this was uh, more is coming. <laughs> Hungry Jacks, the pancake mix. There you. It is. Is it? I don't know. Oh. I looked up Hungry Jacks and it's, it looks like a Burger King logo. So this is the flag of Australia for its indigenous people. Oh boy! Oh you ready? boy! Nope. <laughs> They're beautiful. I love them. There's nothing bad to say. You know what I mean? Amazing. I'm not saying anything negative. Amazing. I, I, I'm gonna be honest. Easy, simple flags. Right. Don't hate them. Australia. I got the. It's got. It, it looks like a. It looks like a. Uh, uh, if if you took the color palette from Mickey Mouse and made it a square Pokeball, that's what you got going on up there. Right. Right. And then the next one looks like something like out of Halo. That looks right. like our right. Star Wars. That looks like a cool Star Wars logo. Like, this is the first empire. Right, right. Yeah, the Torn Straits clan. Like, I, I don't hate it. <laughs> no, the indigenous people. The indigenous people paid graphic designers. You know what I mean? Right. They went out and said, you know what? Representation is not strong here, possibly. I don't know how indigenous <laughs> people are treated in your country. Not so great in America. Um, and they said, you know what? We're not gonna. We're not gonna be doing limp, fucking dead sheep on our flag. <laughs> we're gonna make our shit look kind of cool. You know what I mean? Right, so, right. <laughs> I will say shout out to the indigenous people of Australia. There you go. Good flags. There you go. Good, Good flags. Stuff. Good stuff. Miss Mississippi as well. Mississippi's like. Ah! I should get rid of that one. We're going to redo that flag. <laughs> we're going to re take, take two. We're gonna restart. This is the version two right, version right, of our right. flag. Mississippi. Yep. yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's too funny. But does the state, does, like, does that area of Mexico? Uh, yeah, he's. I know he's from Mexico. Uh, Mexican flag's dope. I don't, I, don't, I don't mind the Mexican flag. Have you ever seen the Mexican flag? Yes, it's a sick flag. I mean, have you actually seen it? Like, if I've, do you know what it looks like? Like, seen it in person? No. Mexico. So Mexico flag has all the 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 simpleties of uh, of a uh, like the Italian and Irish flag. Sometimes right. they get confused. For the Irish Italian flag, there has been different versions of the Mexico flag. So, like, mm -hmm. there's an older version where the uh, the inside art is not the greatest, and then they they said, you know what? Let's get rid of clip art. Let's update it. Let's figure it out. Right, right. And Mexico <laughs> did that. So let's uh, let's let's give them let's give Mexico their flowers here. Let's do it. Oh, uh, so this is the original Mexico flag. Okay. No, I'm sorry. That's the original Mexico That's flag. The, yeah, that go. eagle is rough looking. It oh, doesn't yeah. look cool at all. No, right? no, no. And then they, they did this one. A little yep. blurry, so I got yep. you covered. That's the actual nice. what's in there. That is sick. That's sick. Yeah, that's That is the dope. sickest eagle on a... Dude, that thing is that, fucking up a rattlesnake. That wins. That wins automatically. That, sitting that, on that, a that, cactus that like, wins. this shit doesn't phase me, bro. <laughs> that is a that cool... Wins. That's a cool flag. Mexico is in the lead. Speaking in the lead... When you, if you were to rank the Opinion City podcast from one to two, it goes one, this guy, two, you. Thanks. Uh, yo, yo. King Ralph. Let's separate Thanks. you guys. Let's get you guys. Come on. Let's get you guys. Stop here. doing yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, let's 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 separate us. I I can't be I can't be next to him. Stop that. During a live stream. Stop that right or, now. Real quick, Ralph, has, is a beard oh. always a thing for you? Is that is that a look that you normally go for? Or are you normally yeah. a clean shaven guy? No, I'm always a beard guy. Okay. I look. I feel like you cleaned it up a little bit. Or am I just am I bugging? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's, it's, it's filled. It's filled in more because it yeah. was uh, it was smaller before. Uh, it was a much not not like a fuller beard. It was more like a pencil thin beard. But uh, yeah, I decided to grow it out a little bit. Um, Harm's got the Drew McIntyre beard. That thing is dark. Yeah, <laughs> like CM yeah. Punk said, this guy's put nail polish in his beard over here. No, definitely not. I got not. I got a um I I got a message. I, and now uh, this is pulling the curtain back. I got a message since you said he had the Drew McIntyre beard. I got a message from Parm right before I came on here. Yeah, and it said, "When you get on there, tell ABJ not to film up my kilt and call him a perv." Yeah, <laughs> PG right. pal, PG. Yep. We're monetized yeah. now. We're monetized. That was that was seriously the best line of that whole thing. Don't film yeah, up my kilt, you perv. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. That's tremendous. 
Good we're, we're playing a game tonight. We're 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 oh, we're, okay. we're roasting flags. Yeah. I don't know how oh, this right. came about. <laughs> we're roasting people's okay. flags. Oh, I said the city of Chicago's flag is very simple, clean, and I, I would like a version of a Pennsylvania yes. flag that I can make as like an ABJ thing. But it's hard because a Pennsylvania's flag has a lot going on, and then we opened up the PA flag, and then yeah. I kind of roasted some aspects of it. Sure. And then we just been going through every state that people have been listing and talking about their flags. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Some of them are pretty bad. We have some pretty bad flags. Pretty brutal. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'm about to add one for you, ABJ. All right. The flag of Connecticut. The First Nations flag I sent before was actually made and designed by the First Nations person of Australia. They did a good uh -huh. job. That That's a good flag. Real good flag. Mm -hmm. I'm a fan of it. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite flag, Ralph? Um. Oh, no. Um, I don't know. Uh, oh, did, I mean, did we no. not do Kansas? Did we not do a Kansas flag? Yeah, he did. He did. Hmm. I don't know. Yo, I I, 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 I might have found one that's pretty bad. Oh, my goodness. Uh -oh. Also, uh, uh, Anastasia has sent us me a, a bunch of flags here. A lot of uh, a lot of Australian flags that she's sending me are very UK inspired, like UK flag with mm -hmm. the crown and then like a little logo of the area. But they're they're all very like a lot of written out stuff. We'll we'll mm -hmm. get to that in a minute. But we have a promo going on. We did Kansas. Which one was Kansas? Oh yeah, we did Kansas. Kansas was pretty bad. That was yeah, a pretty yeah, bad flag. That's, that's pretty rough. Yeah, that was a rough. bad one. <laughs> Listen, Anastasia, we we love you and we love Australia, but like we had. <laughs> The UK flag, a part of our flag right, at one time, right. and we said, "Fucking hit the bricks!" Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. We sawed off Goodbye. some, we sawed off some shotguns and stuck rocks in them shits, and we, we drove yeah. them out. We drove right. them out. <laughs> love funny. Australia, though. <laughs> love, love, love it, love it. Ria's shirt says, "You summoned me." You summoned me? Question mark. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is she wearing a wrist brace, or is that just aesthetic? I think, I think it's just aesthetic. I think. Hmm. It looks like a brace. She's holding the title with it, so it's not like it's in. It, I can't tell if it's just like a like a like a accessory or. So, uh, so Sports Kita is reporting that it seems that she has suffered some kind of injury to her wrist in the past week and has continued to wrestle despite this. Said fans have shared pictures of her outside of the ring wearing that cast. So right. there's some question about it, but Becky's gear's on fire tonight. This looks good. Good gear. Hair's looking on point. <laughs> Becky, Becky's killing it tonight. All I'm right, feeling Becky. Lily. I'm, I'm stealing you. her fashion bit. Lily, look, I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Becky looks great. I'm into this Becky look. Her hair looks fantastic. Crushing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Crushing it. I don't know. I'm a yeah, sucker it's... for a girl in a hat. I like I yeah, like when a girl yeah. wears a hat. I yeah. like I like uh, I I could take it or leave it because I think I think women either wear a hat really well or it just looks terrible. There's no in between. Yeah. Like it's it's fair, either fair. But this is this is more the man and less big time Bex. Right. And I think that's I think that's why it resonates, the look. Yeah. Uh, Courtney says, congratulations on 1K. Thank you hey. so much. We appreciate that. We we have finally hit the 1K. We're retiring. This is it. Wrap it up. Roll the credits. <laughs> Wrap it up. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. So I have a favorite flag. I found it. All right. Upload it. Oh, who's that? That is the that is the flag of Wales. There you go. It needs an update. That's that, that's <laughs> clip art. That's update. clip art. That's bushland. That's well. Yeah. That's that's a that's a clip art version of it. But that's like the best uh, the best quality version. Yeah. I like so, this the was other, Mexico. Mexico's, Mexico's like, listen, whoever drew yeah. that, we appreciate the offer, but right. we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fucking <laughs> we're gonna beef that shit up. You know yeah. what I mean? I think awesome. every state needs to go back and get and, yeah. and hire some artists. Uh, yeah. We oh, after this promo, we do got some new flags to pull up. Some pretty bad flags. <laughs> some pretty bad ones. <laughs> She's wearing a barbed wire hooped earring, but her her gauges are so stretched out. It looks so. 
if you have a gauged ear and then try to wear a regular mm-hmm. earring in it and it just yeah. stretches it down, it looks <laughs> right. creepy to me. Yeah. It's like, what's the point? I feel like that is the point. I think you should wear your yeah, plug and then put the earring through the plug. <laughs> right, oh, right. there you go. Yeah. Drill a hole in the middle of the plug. Well, the plug makes it more rounded, so it doesn't look like mm-hmm. it, so it stretches yeah. on the skin properly. But right, when you right, don't yeah. wear the plug and then the ear just sags, it looks weird. Mm-hmm. It looks like a terrible clip art flag. <laughs> a lot of promo tonight. A lot of promo. Yeah, dude. Oh, there's unbelievable. Been any matches at all? It's been like what? Two matches? There's been. There's the tag match. Yeah. There was JD and, and finish. JD and uh, Ricochet, which was great. Yeah. That was a really good match. And then <clears throat> the two minute women's match. Right, right. Which was a joke. And then the New Day match where that ended in fuck finish. Yeah, that was right, yeah, right, that, right. yeah. Oh, Andrade beat down. Oh, oh yeah, Andrew, yeah. And Andrade didn't even get a full entrance on TV. Nope. Shows how much they care about him. No, it, it's because The Rock, uh, CM Punk, and Drew took up most of the freaking time in the first part. This uh, this seems a lot like Attitude Era, where it's just like, let's push the story with our main stars, go out and cut mm-hmm. promos and get the crowd fired up, and then fill the rest of the show with like mid card matches. Right. But this is but this is something they should be doing next week on their go home show. The go home show should be the promo show. But they can't do that next week because The Rock's going to be on it. He's going to need the first 45 minutes for his promo. Yeah, yep, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Facts. Damn. So you can sit on your couch, watch me do what I do, and while you sit there, I want you to sit next to your daughter, Rue. Rue is a terrible name for a kid, I'm just saying. <laughs> I, I, I do think I that think it's, it's a bad, terrible name. I, think I do think that it's time for a title change, but I don't. The more I watch these promos, and the more I, I don't watch think Rhea, Becky's the, the one I, to carry it. I the think, more I, I think, think they should keep the title on Rhea. The more I right. watch her promos, and I yeah, agree, it's she's 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 outshining everyone right now. And as much as I want to see change, yeah, you know, they're I, I trying to get the sympathy where her she's going after her family and doing really really heel shit. But still, it's not translating to the fans. Like you got to build up a talent that people want to clamor to. That like mm-hmm. like like yeah, I know there's half the crowd where it's like. Hey, yeah, we want Cody, and half the crowd yeah. still is Rock Marks, and they want the Rock. Mm-hmm. But it's just like, at the end of the day, Cody has built up a story that makes it like the chase has been good. Becky's chase, like she's crying right now during her promo. I don't feel Becky's chase. No, she's been no, in the main event the last three years. Because what? Because what they're trying to do is they're trying to use these things like they're doing now to try and get that same sympathy she got when Nia broke her nose, and it's not going to work. Yeah. They want her to have that I don't think the sympathy. crowd resonates with Becky like they used to. I think she's no. very talented, but I just... And I, I do agree Philly's going to boo Becky out of Mania. Because the, the the crowd is... St- I mean, the crowd is still Rhea Ripley hot. They're going to yeah. be yeah. hot for her for a long time because she's just that good. Mm-hmm. And it's crazy because Rhea's popular, but they fizzled her out because she doesn't work as a lot. Like they're trying mm-hmm. to do the same thing at Real as they're doing the Roman, and it's not translating because she doesn't really no. like she goes out and has matches, but like her and Naya was good in Australia. And some matches are good, but it's just like for the most part, she's she's kind of fizzling too. Her look is carrying her through. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But yeah. uh but Dom is Dom is more over than the champion Rhea is. 
Which is why, which is why what they're doing with the Judgment Day is so brilliant, because you have people that are not really necessarily working up to their potential, but as a group, they cover all of those little imperfections. Here's a hot right. take: Judgment Day, <laughs> yeah, is better than the Bloodline. Oh, um, the Bloodline is you're you're cashing in on mm-hmm. nostalgia and you're cashing in on history of the build business. Where mm-hmm. Bloodline, where Judgment Day started off as a group where we weren't sure if we were fully into them, right? And they have grown and made us respect and love them, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Where I think the uh, where Judgment Day is kind of like, yeah, this can carry on a little longer, and we're cool with it. But the Bloodline is more like, is this? Can we? Can we figure this out? Because this is getting kind of stale. Right. Right. But you. But you also, when you look at the Judgment Day and you look at the Bloodline. I don't think if you look at the Judgment Day, everybody on that roster can stand alone as a single star and be a star. And I don't think that's the case on the Bloodline. Right. I don't think I, you I, see, I disagree with that. I do think everyone on the Bloodline is talented enough to stand on their own. But I, just I don't think, think they're uh, going to be stars, though. I don't. I don't yeah. see. I don't see Solo Sokoa being as big of a star as anybody on the Judgment Day. I don't see Jimmy Uso on his own being as big of a star as anybody on the uh, on the Judgment Day. I, d- I don't see it, but I mean, not that they're not talented, not that they don't work well, but I just I don't think, yeah, that level of stardom is there where I think the Judgment Day is just built into it. So I don't think Chad turns. I think Chad coaches Sammy to possibly have his moment, and then Sammy Sammy gives him that nod of like, "You're my first chance. You're the first number one contender for my title." Right, right. Oh yeah, I could see that one hundred percent. Yeah. <clears throat> Dude, Bronson's so dope. Bronson Reed. There's another Australian that we love here in this, in this, <laughs> in this community. Bronson Reed. Is this chest tattoos new? Is he have new ones? Has he always had the chest piece? Am I bugging? I don't know. Looks new to me. Oh, there you go. That's the how one you promote the- your new. The one so the on one, yeah. The one on the right is, is new. Yeah, yeah. The one is new. There you go. Yeah. As I say, the one that says looks like it says big. That one is looks fresh. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. All of his photos of him on screen, it, it's just the one peck is tattooed. Right. Now both yep. sides are. Yep. There yep. you go. Big Bronson. All right. What flags we got in the in the, in the it pulled up here? Uh, Connecticut. Awful. <laughs> the, the worst. <laughs> that might be the worst. That's Delaware's, pretty bad. Lemons, pretty lemons bad and too. grapes. Yeah, that's horrible. That's pretty bad. All right, Delaware. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah. That's pretty bad. Yeah. That Do the breakdown right now. What, that's an what do you see right now, AJ? What do you see? I'm, I'm <laughs> seeing. I'm seeing a <laughs> corn. I'm seeing wheat. I'm seeing a. I don't know if that's a cow or a dog. Not sure what's going on there. That filigree is terrible. That bo- there's a Everything, pirate the ship for no the reason. Yeah, the boats there's, a ship, are... there's a ship there. Hey, here, here we come on our boats to take your ship. That, <laughs> that guy's like, that guy's like More holding ships. a, that guy's like holding a backhoe, like he's gonna go out and fight the war with a backhoe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a rough flag. Uh, Not good. It's a rough flag. That's a rough flag. <laughs> Not good. Yo, that that's a canvas special. That's a, that's a canvas special. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh man! Yeah, Delaware's kind of like, hey, you're kind of cute, or like <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna right. kill you. I'm gonna kill. I have a hoe. I have a really rounded, blunt object. Right. And uh, <laughs> the other guy's kind of like, I got a gun. It is what it is. <laughs> it's fine. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> you want to check out my 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 cow dog? Check that out. <laughs> my cow <laughs> dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new bit we're starting. We're, we're you know we're just seeing we're throwing shit in the wall. See if. Uh, 
see what sticks, you know? Ryan Vox says they look mad at each other for being in DE. Yeah, pretty bad. <laughs> pretty bad. I wonder, has Maryland's flag always been the same, or did they, like, have a real dog shit one and then turn around and, like, and be like, all right, this is bad. All right. Can we get rid of this clip art shit and make yeah. a cool one that we can put on all, <laughs> put on everything? Like, can we put it on an underwear and T-shirts and car che- keychains and every single yeah. item in our state? Right, right. Do they love? Uh, listen, uh, there, if there's, if Maryland, if Maryland loves anything more than anything in that state, it's definitely their flag, man. They oh yeah, fucking, they put oh, yeah. that thing on <laughs> everything, everything, all of mm. all of the things. Bro, look at this fucking thing. Is this a... Oh, okay. So this might be problematic. (laughs) All right. Uh So, yeah. So Maryland... Maryland had a Confederate version of their flag, I think. Oh. All right. So that this is not as bad. The the clip art. Mm. Hold on. Maryland did have a clip art version of their flag. I'm, I'm, I'm going to pull it up real quick. Uh, and they did update it. I think. Uh, hold on. So they did have, but this is, this was like the center of the flag. I guess when they were, I don't, I don't know if they had a conflict like this. I don't know where this came from, but that's kind of the fucking leopards. That's kind of sick. Yeah, that's pretty sick. I mean, oh. California, great flag. Love it. The bear. I'm into it. The bear. Simple. The bear. I like it. The bear. I'm into it. <laughs> California wins. They have a good flag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> California. A. California. A. Yeah. A. Yeah. Yeah, Maryland did have. I can't find it because I think they deleted it. They're like, it was such a bad flag, they don't even want it to be pulled up. But hmm. they did have a flag, kind of like similar to the other ones, where two people are kind of standing there looking at each other like goobers. Hmm. Uh, hmm. One guy's holding a fish. One guy's holding a, a backhoe or a shovel, and then it says like something in Latin. And it, there's a lot going on. But it's there's a lot going on. Yeah, but they they cleaned it up and they said let's get rid of that nonsense and just do that checkered board shit. Let's get mm. let's get real ska with our logo and uh, and they cleaned it up. Oh, we got a real flag winner in Discord. All right, here we got. Here we got the funk Funkyamas flag. What the hell is that? <laughs> what is that? Uh, tantalizing Tony says congratulations on one K. Thank you, brother. We played your video early on uh, of that you personally made. It means a lot. Thank you. Uh, we're doing a bit right now where we're, uh, we're, we're, we're rating flags. People are sending me their state <laughs> flags, and I, I'm roasting them. Um, but, yeah, I don't know where this what this location is, but it, it looks like a generic Batman logo. I don't know what's happening here. I don't know what's happening here. It looks like like a, bo- like a boomerang <laughs> or, a, or like a set of brass knuckles that weren't fully completed. I don't know what what's going f- on. It's like, yeah. <laughs> It's it's oh I can't say it. It's it's uh, Fu, Fukuyama is a city in Japan. Oh Fukuyama. Okay. Yes. Fukuyama. Fukuyama. Not great. I think I think uh, I think they started making it and then just like stopped paying the guy and then they just <laughs> They're like, Here we go. Here's a flag. <laughs> uh, Maryland. Pretty Maine. bad. Or Maine. Maine. Maine's pretty bad. <laughs> Maine's pretty bad. That guy got a scythe. <laughs> That guy, that guy just carries around an anchor. He just like have we have have we looked at the Virginia flag yet? Oh geez. No, Virginia has All right, not been hang on. coming up. Pull that one up. Come pull on. that one up next. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right. Virginia's kind of dope. <laughs> this guy's holding a dildo. <laughs> a fist, yeah. He has a fist yeah. dildo. Yes. Uh, right. Right. Uh, he's got a he's got a spear. That can't be a real flag. That's not the it real. Is. It is. I guarantee you, it is. Bro, he has a fist dildo. <laughs> Oh no! I'm telling you, that's sick. <laughs> that is Virginia the, that is the wins. Go to, go to go to go to Virginia Wikipedia. Virginia is for lovers. Is that is right. the seal of the Commonwealth of Virginia. That's a good one, bro. Virginia progressive. Virginia pointed out, <laughs> bro. It has the fucking yeah. it has wanted, the whole thing. Yeah, they wanted it to be ancient Roman, so they were all about like yeah. You know, Making Good it for look, them. You know, making it look pornographic. Yeah. When you guys have done commentary, uh, has any talent out there uh, 
put uh, uh, when you did has, has any talent put, put their, their hands, hands on you. Um, not on commentary. The closest I got on commentary where um, I was told to get off of commentary, and it wasn't something that was planned or talked about. Yeah. And I I resisted, and I and and I, and I I actually had a chat with the person backstage, and I was like, dude, don't ever do that. And he's like, why? I'm I'm a big deal here. I said, yeah, but like, don't tell me. <laughs> oh, like, we already had. I'm a big deal had, here. We had two people on commentary. We had the main person and me, and then we had the third person who rotated. And the third yeah. seat was already a guest, so the third seat was already a wrestler. So if I give up my seat. Yeah. Now you lose your color to talk about the match. And now you're putting two wrestlers with a play-by-play. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And they kept challenging me in front of a live crowd. He's like, and he, he's like challenging me, but he's like, yo, move, wow. get up. And I'm like, no, right. I'm like, no dude. And he's like, cause well, I'm not trying to be a, a tough guy or anything. Right, right. I'm not being booked to be a character. Right. I'm yeah. me. Yeah. And I'm not giving you my fucking seat. Fight right. me for it. You know right. what I mean? Like, right, right. But then yeah, if the, the guest spot was a female, and then he tried getting loud with her, and she was like, cool. I don't know who you think you're talking to. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I was like, to save her character, I got up and walked away. Right. And I was not happy about it. Yeah. yeah. Because I was already at that point in time in this company, I was already a rotating commentary person. Right. So I didn't have, like, I, I only had a certain amount of reps to go out there and do my thing. Right. And now I have a guy who's normally in the tag team who comes out and took my spot mm-hmm. on a show that I work really hard, that I don't get paid for. And the only right. thing I get is that spot. And I was pissed about it. Um, and, and, and we talked about it backstage about how like I don't have a lot of opportunities and, and you you can go you can go do your thing in a promo. I don't have that dude. So go right. fucking when you have your time make it work and don't take my spot. Right. Um and I think a lot once again I think a lot of wrestlers will try to take advantage of that, but I've never had my hands mm. put on. They don't, no one ever put their hands on me on commentary. When I was a backstage interviewer they did and I didn't like that either. Right. Because like I also have a joint yeah. disorder. So if someone grabs me and pushes me and I trip over something I can legit dislocate or hurt something or pop my right. knee out, and I right. and I don't want to do that for free at a wrestling show. Yep, absolutely. If you're paying me and you want to fucking throw me around, cool, but I'm not coming for free and then risk and throw my back out. Right. Mm. right. I also would carry in really heavy bags full of equipment with all my stuff at one point in time, and I used to throw my back out carrying my equipment in, and then right. be hurting the whole show, and then someone's throwing me around in a backstage interview, and I was right. like, fuck that. Yeah, and that's why I got away from backstage interviews. I didn't. I didn't like the fact that people put their hands on me. Right. I got chopped in the chest one time by Greg the Hammer Valentine at a oh, signing. Did you ask wow. for it? No, I did not. So uh, then Greg, uh, I would have double leg Greg. It was. Uh, you have double leg Greg. It was at um, uh, Pro Wrestling World in Allentown, <laughs> and. Uh, you got your when you went to get your picture with him, you stood behind the table with him and he stood up. And so I go behind the table and he stands up and he takes like a step back. And all of a sudden he just chops me in the chest. Jesus. And I was like in shock at first. And then he's like, I got to tell you, man, when I see a chest like that, I just got to chop it. And I'm I like, cool. myself- when I see a face like that, I usually see it on a female gym teacher. <laughs> wow. Oh, which man. is which is funny because my high school math teacher looked like Andre the Giant. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, she was like seven foot tall. And uh, well, anyways, uh, yeah, um, it was it was insane. I, I watch you- people get paid. Who, who I watch people pay. Uh, what's his name? Um, Oh, Dr. Destiny, uh, Dr. Uh, Destiny no. Williams to slap yeah. him in the face. I yeah, watched there that. You go. There you go. I was like, "You are dumb." Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what. And they he always hold back. He slaps like wrestlers, dog shit out of you. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wrestlers will say that um, uh, that that chops are some of the worst pain you'll feel in the ring, and I when they say that, they're not kidding. My chest <laughs> was red for two weeks. Jesus. It was crazy. <laughs> I mean, I think I, I think I broke blood vessels in my chest. He hit me so I hard. Love, I'm not kidding. I love That's when wild. two wrestlers go to the back, and I've seen it happen before, where two wrestlers and Ryan Vox can probably attest to it, where they're in a match and they do a chop spot in the corner, and the fans go again, and they're like, "Fuck again," <laughs> and then they hit yeah. the back and they're like, "Bro, 
17 yeah. chops my guy like, <laughs> like, that shit sucks yeah. like i've oh, seen that segment. Yeah. like they're not yeah, mad at each bad. other and there's no beef but they're like bro you chopped me yeah, 17 rough. times like what the fuck my guy <laughs> yeah. look at me i'm beat the hell up i'm beat up yeah right yeah. i just got ten dollars on a hot dog and you just broke every blood vessel in my chest <laughs> <laughs> right 17 i just remember that being backstage 17 Mm. Here we go from Kai. There's bars in Japan full of super muscular women that you can pay to essentially beat the snot out of you. Unrelated, anyone got a few hundred bucks I can borrow? <laughs> um, so we we have that in Pennsylvania. Uh, we actually talked about it on the car ride up to Philly. Uh, you, you can pay strippers to put you in a chair and beat the shit out of you. That's a thing. Uh, oh, really? called a hot it seat. Is. Yeah, it they is. Will, yeah. You go to your local strip club and ask for a hot seat and they oh, will beat no. the dog shit out of you in front of all of your friends. Oh my god. I that watched was... this one where um they had a paddle with holes drilled in it and uh -huh. this girl cracks it by the first time we're like he's done wrap it up that's bad <laughs> and he's yes. so drunk she hit him again and then when she hit him the third time she hit him so hard that the tip of the handle hit the window like the mirror and shattered it and oh my god dude she split a wooden board that thick that's crazy sideways, that thick Jeez. over his butt that's that's and assault it flew off and that, shattered that, a window that's yeah that, that, like, that's like it's assault that's like that's like call the cops i didn't pay for this yeah, yeah. right <laughs> uh, wow abj oh have you ever had gotten a bad experience meeting wrestlers um I had one. Yeah. I had a moment where I had a, a foot and mouth situation, where I was uh, I was meeting Devon Dudley. Oh boy! And I was like, "Yo, man, when are you? Um, when are your kids coming up? Like, you have two boys out in the scene. They're in, they're tag team wrestlers. Like, it'd be exciting to see the next generation of your kids like in wrestling." And he's and he said to me, "I think they're. I think he said they're in Japan or something doing stuff right now." And I said, "Oh man, just whatever you do." Uh, don't let them come to WWE and be tag teams. They're 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 essentially destroying the entire tag team division. And at this point in time, they just gave the tag team champions to Braun Strowman and a nine year old. Right, <laughs> right. And Braun Strowman was coming out on a weekly basis and just beating up the entire tag team division by himself. Yep. And I thought that was bad booking. And yeah. And to this day, they have not recovered no. the tag team division since no. then. <laughs> right. No. Um. Yeah. And Devon looked at me and goes. You know I'm the right. Well, I'm a writer for WWE, and my specialty <laughs> is the tag team division. Oh, and I look right at him. I go, "You're doing a terrible job." <laughs> Did you tell and him the that? Problem, oh, the, you oh, I 100 percent said that. And the problem was, is Enzo was taking so long with every fan, I had to awkwardly like because the line it was around the ring, so oh, right. everyone stood around the ring. And essentially, you got in line, and then you went from table to table to table. Right. The problem was Enzo was taking so long that I told Devon he sucked as a rider, and then had to stand in front of his table for fifteen <laughs> for like another three ten or ten to oh, three, like so three to ten minutes. That's yeah, so it awkward. felt like an eternity. He's just like because no one wants anything from Devon because they all want Enzo, and Devon's just like pissed because I told him he sucks as a rider, and he's just like. <laughs> soaking and no one's soaking. like talking to him no one's on a yeah. word they're like i can't believe you said that yeah that was a bad experience That's wild in the same line we wrapped around and the end of the line was frank mir and austin aries okay and austin aries is just a dick notoriously right. a dick so that right, wasn't right. a great experience i love frank mir though um oh braun Strowman. I mean, Bronson Reed, I mean, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I love how he does that homage to Bam Bam Bigelow with the flames. Yeah. <clears throat> he busted his nose open somewhere during the match. Sammy loses. Um, Who else did I have? I, don't, I haven't had a lot of bad experiences, I'm going to be honest. Uh, they were the only two that really glared at me when i'm meeting I, meeting yeah i have one bad experience uh so actually i, I, met... I do have other bad experiences but none of them are famous yeah. or popular and they're not even worth talking about and i wouldn't even give an airtime on my channel because they're right. there's there's shitty people in the business i'm right. just... sure i told i told i told a uh very high profile commentary guy one time at a show that he's a fucking dickhead <laughs> <laughs> nice yeah. Nice. Ryan, Ryan Vox is actually standing next to him when I did it. 
<laughs> I said, wow. I was like, cool. If you don't want someone to be here, just tell them to stay the fuck home. Don't go out there and make a dick out of them. You're a right. fucking asshole. And I walked Jesus. away. So the very first time I met Chris when Jericho Bobby was Pete? at a Legends of the Ring. And, uh, you know, it was one of those deals like, you know, where you go through the you walk around the table and you meet everybody. So as I got up to him, just as just as I was getting to him, he literally started having a conversation with someone else in the room and had a conversation the entire time I was with him. And as you'll see in this picture, he's oh. not even he's not even looking at the camera in the There's picture a photo. He's 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 talking to the he's still talking to the person next to him like he completely ignored me the entire time. That happened to my ex wife when she so she went to a horror con, and she's like, "Yo," because I was supposed to go, but we didn't have enough money for both of us to go. And I, I think right. I had wrestling, I had wrestling mm -hmm. shows, so I was like, "I really want to go," because like I think the the whole time that this con had like most of the scream cast and and uh, also the cast of uh, the craft, and she right. likes mm -hmm. the craft, so she was really excited to go. Um, and it was like the first time every member of the craft was together in like right. 10 mm -hmm. years or something. Yeah. And not only were they there, but Shawn Michaels was there. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. And cool. she stood in line to meet Shawn Michaels and he talked to his handler the whole time. Ugh. And she was oh. like, she, it did, she didn't care, but she was like, dude, he signed it and literally walked. Uh, she just signed it and walked away. Like he, she didn't know who she was talking to, right. but also mm -hmm. like he didn't give a shit that she was there either. Right. Yeah. That's horrible. Yeah, yeah it's not good. And as a handler at that point in time, I also like I try to deflect a little bit if people are taking too long to move them along, but I do let the people have their time with the person right. as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh can you guess it was not striker? No, it was not Matt Striker. <laughs> <laughs> um I've heard stories of Bret Hart going off on fans. I I couldn't I can guess that. Bret Hart's a fucking crybaby big old asshole. <laughs> yeah, great in the ring though. Great in the ring. Uh, the girl, the black ass from the craft. I forgot her name, but she was a hit back in the day. Yeah, very, very pretty girl. Um, the only problem that she said that day when she met the actress from the craft, she said she was really personable and like she walked around the con with no handlers or anything. She and right. she was cool with everybody, but you can definitely, she said that you can tell she was going through some hard times with possible drug abuse. Uh, mm -hmm. who's the girl, the one girl from the craft, the one that like publicly has some drug issues. Uh, oh shit. What's her name? She was really, really skinny. Oh, uh, uh, Faruz Faruzka or whatever her name is or Faruzka. Right. She was also in, um, uh, American history X water boy. She was like their love interest in the water right. boy. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, the one of the nicest people that she's she met because she went to a lot of those. I didn't get a chance to go because I went to wrestling shows. Right. Uh, she loved Daniel Harris. Gotcha. The little girl, the girl who played the original uh, uh, Halloween. Right. When the little girl comes out, like she's like the next one. Uh, she was really, and then she's been in stuff like in Hatchet and stuff. She's like a big mm. horror movie person, but she loved Daniel Harris. I think I think Lily said her name is Veruca Salt. Yeah, uh, I can I can't say her name, but yeah, that's the name. <laughs> that is not right. That but, yeah, yeah, that. that one. She was in Beethoven as well. Yeah, I'll be right back. I got to pee. Okay, hold it down, boys. Yep, I'll let I'll let the king handle it here. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. <laughs> thanks. Yep. Hey, it is what it is. Listen, but you know what that means. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's it's time. with the OC again. Round Listen, two. Man, hey. Wait. <laughs> wait, 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 waiting around. All right. We did so, round one. Now we're at round two with uh, the king this time. <laughs> Don't worry. I got this. <laughs> you got I this. got this. Don't worry. <laughs> we just did. <laughs> so uh yeah so so speaking of speaking of handlers i'll tell a quick handler story um okay. so i was uh i went i went to an autograph signing one time to meet randy orton because he was at the uh washington dc auto show right they right. routinely bring in wrestlers and uh so i'm in line 
and I notice that, uh, you know, he's, he has a handler from WWE with him and it's, uh, referee Tim white. Oh, wow. Yeah. Old school old referee. School. Yeah, Tim white. yeah. Yeah. Um, best friends with Andre the giant. So, yep. uh, I actually, I actually went up to Tim and I, I said, Hey, uh, you know, would you mind? Could I get a picture with you? And he's like, right. uh, it's like, we're not, we're not, we're not really supposed to, we're not really supposed to do that. He's like, but, uh, do you have something to sign? I'll sign something. So he's, I have him signed in the encyclopedia. There you go. That's cool. he, would, he was not allowed to take a picture, but that was kind of cool. Cause I had no idea that was going to happen. Right. That, you know, that's very cool. Of all, of all people to see. Right. Yeah. Oh, shoot. She socked him one. She legit socked him in the face. Yeah. yeah thanks. Back. Sorry there you about go. it. Sorry about that. We're back. Yeah, you know. don't 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 apologize when the show gets better. <laughs> Never apologize when the show gets better. Um, That's you good. missed my That's... Tim White story. Yep. Tim White. White story. Yeah. Yeah. Tim White. I I went I went to an autograph signing uh, with Randy Orton uh, at the Washington D.C. Auto Show, and Tim White was his handler, and uh, I didn't know he was going to be there, but uh, I got him to sign something. He he was like, I can't. He's like, I can't. I can't take pictures, but if you have something, I'll sign something. I'm like that's kind of cool. There's two people in the background of this shot. It looks like Andrade and Dom. They're really pushing this background stuff. Uh, Andrade and Dom chumming it up on camera. I'm telling you, Andrade's going to take over Damian Priest's spot. I have never been to Tim White's bar. That would have been amazing. Um, I like the last... The, so Scream 5 or 6 was good until the end i hated the end and then the newest scream mm. made the ending of the bad one make more sense it made the bad one better because the one after it was really really good but now half the actresses in that new film all quit because they got fired for being pro one of the sides of the war that's going on overseas. right right to be mm. honest i'm not there's so much nonsense going on in the world i can't keep track of everything overseas as well yeah the world just inherently sucks, and I can't. Yeah. That was a weird camera shot. I was like, they're following fans walking through the corridor. That's a that's an interesting camera take. I like that. That's a cool shot to come back from commercial. Going down through the crowd. I'm into that. That's pretty cool. So if uh, so, if Sami Zayn takes the IC title from Gunther at Mania, do we see Sami Zayn uh, joining Alpha Academy after Mania? No, I think I think if Sami Zayn does not win the title, I think I think Sami's days number days are numbered in WWE. Uh, Jin, what's going on? What? Uh, thank you for joining the stream. If you're if you're new, hit that subscribe button. If you're into pro wrestling, tell us who you like. Are you are you just coming to hang out? Join the conversation. Put some stuff in the chat. Let's have a good. Let's let's talk. Let's chill. <clears throat> that whole opening was pointless. <laughs> Jay, I understand what Jay's trying to do right now, but it just it's not grabbing me the same way it's grabbing everybody else. The minute I heard the if, word yeet, I was out. If if you can if you if you can book one match, WWE stars versus AEW star, who would they, who would it be? Hmm. That's interesting. Um Rollins versus Osprey. Huh? Rollins versus Osprey. Rollins versus that's a good one. Let me think here. Hmm. I mean, obviously the Bucks versus the Usos. That's the one I would say. Bucks Usos is the match I would like. It, that I hope. I don't think it's ever going to because they're both so into their brand. Right. But Bucks versus Usos. I I just think in today's modern day tag team, that's a matchup that I think. Like I think they're hold they're the title hold like the flag bearers right, of right. modern day tag team wrestling yeah, yeah, yeah. companies. Mm -hmm. Yep, absolutely. So I, so them, I, I love have... them, but the Bucks. Mm -hmm. I I just feel like the Bucks have held that torch 
outside the WWE and 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 FTR as well. But FTR, right. we've seen FTR versus the like that mm-hmm. whole WWE yeah. locker room. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah, I I think I think the Bucks need a real run with some WWE tag teams. I think that would be uh, amazing to see. I have I have two wide book. Um, <laughs> one is one is just kind of crazy, and the other is a little more serious. But I would book uh, Gunther and Wardlow. Okay. Nice, and then nice. uh, Orange Cassidy and our truth. <laughs> that'd be fun. That's gold. That'd be fun. See, I would do opposite. That's I would do Orange Cassidy, Roman Reigns. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. Because <laughs> I, think, oh, yeah. I think comedy yeah. versus comedy. I don't think Orange Cassidy shines. I think he shines. But I think when you put the super serious guy in front of Orange Cassidy, I think you get more oomph or bang for your buck. Right. And they both have Superman right. punches. I think it'd be fun. Yeah, 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 that yeah. <laughs> that would that would be fun, but I I guarantee that if Orange Cassidy ever had anything to do with WWE, people would be clamoring for him and our truth. Like yeah. that is the matchup that they'd want to see. Right. But him and yeah, him and him. And, I mean, seriously, yeah, him and Roman Reigns would be amazing. That would be that would be a lot of fun. Kari versus Sheeta. Kari Zane. Kari Zane versus Sheeta. That'd be a good one. I would uh I would like um Jamie Hader versus Becky Lynch, I think would be fun. Ooh. <clears throat> See Tony Storm is another one that like we've seen most of those matchups. Right. Mm-hmm. So I can't really lump her into that. Let me look at the women's roster real quick. I just love the AEW roster. Right. Uh So he says, J- he said, uh, Darby Allen versus Finn Balor. I would do Jay White versus Finn Balor. Oh, yeah. Darby Allen that. versus Finn Balor is not out of the realm of possibility in the future. No, no. Yeah. Gunther versus Okada. Oh. Abaddon versus Asuka would be Ooh. good. That'd be fun. Hangman versus Drew McIntyre. That's a good matchup. Yeah. Yeah, that's a yeah, really absolutely. good matchup. Yeah. Uh, Brian Cage versus well, it wouldn't be. It would be very one sided. Everyone tries to put <laughs> Brian Cage versus another big guy, and I don't think that's where Brian Cage shines. Right. But I know we've already seen the match. But like Brian Cage versus Ricochet and Lucha Underground was awesome. Oh, so <laughs> you know good. I mean? Yeah, so good. Yeah. Uh, Powerhouse Hobbs versus Bobby Lashley. There you go. Yeah. It's fun. It'd be fun. Uh, what if else I was if I was if I was picking a women's match, I would do. Uh, Nia Rose and Natalia. Yeah, Nia Rose go. versus Natalia. Okay. There you go. Uh, it's crazy. I don't know. It's crazy. There's a lot of there's a lot of opportunity there. Lucha Bros versus Usos would be good too. Yeah, yeah, that'd be a crazy match. Uh, trying to see who else is here. The problem is a good portion of the roster was already in WWE. So I mean, we still haven't matches. got it, but St- Sting, Undertaker. Well, that that never happened, but yeah. Uh, apparently, Vince didn't want it. Insane. Vince didn't want it. I think uh, personally, I think he was worried about who the fans would uh, support more, and I, 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 it's one mm-hmm. of those things where it's like you don't want to bury your top guy, and if you put your top guy against somebody else, and the crowd wants the other guy over your top guy, it hurts your ego. Right. And I yeah. think he always was kind of worried about Sting when it came to that. If he put Sting versus one of his top guys, would Sting overshadow them? Right. Mm-hmm. And to think that Sting would overshadow the Undertaker. Is it out of the realm of possibility? Right. Uh, Chubby Chelsea, congratulations on 1K subs, man. You earned it. You are the best streamer in the whole world. Appreciate Woo. that. Look at that. Appreciate that. Listen, oh. uh, not every ABJ, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, I have a good team around me. I have good people around me. I have a great 
um, a great community behind me. It's it's a no-brainer of why I hit one one K and while we're gonna grow as a brand, as the Ben Frank connection, as ABJ, as Opinion City, because I feel like what we have going on now, we've made amends with the rest of the content creators in the world who matter. Um and and I think we're off to a really good start. I think I think we put our I think I put myself around good people, good things, good uh I, I cut a lot of fat off my life, we'll say, or I, I had a lot of mm-hmm. <laughs> force cut off. You know, <laughs> it, it, mm-hmm. it, it, a lot, a lot of a lot of my life has been put into perspective. We're not anywhere where I want to be, but we're we're off to a good start. We're building a new foundation. You know. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Ricky Starks and The Rock, Wardlow versus Brock, MJF versus Rock. Shizzy is in the last match, huh? I'll tell you what. It's going to be... I haven't done one in a while, but we're going to start doing them again, and I'm only saying Lily because Lily's part of this as well. But uh, we're going to be doing a ABJ vlog, but it'll be definitely very... Uh, it, I, I will say this weekend, or this week coming up, will not just be an ABJ vlog. It'll be a Ben Frank vlog. We are going to... Mm-hmm. We are going to be vlogging our most of our experience at the uh, mm. at our mania weekends, and and Lily Lily is going to be the power behind that. So um, no pressure on her, but I know she was bummed right. about possibly not being involved or going. But uh, we're going to bring her along. Mm-hmm. She's going to be in charge of the vlog stuff, and I, I can't wait for you, you guys gotcha. to see uh, our experience this weekend oh, or yeah. this week coming up in Mania in Philly, yeah. and uh, and it's vlogging exciting. the entire experience. Super pumped. So I have two. I have two GoPros that I have that I I don't. I wasn't using for a while. Right. And uh, I, I essentially gave the other GoPro to Lily. Like that's her travel camera. Hell yeah. And the money that's going into the channel now between super chats and subscribers and stuff and uh, membership fees. That's essentially going to pay for a new vlogging camera, and that nice. vlogging camera will be manned by Lily. It's a it's a really really nice mm-hmm. camera that lo- works way better in low light, and uh, I'm just really ex- the the uh, DJ the DJ uh, Pocket Three. Mm-hmm. So there's two things I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna when I get my money situation, I'm gonna do a PO box. So if people want to send stuff like a T-shirt or a sticker right. or, or something like that, mm-hmm. you can send it, and I don't I, I don't have to give you my physical address. Right, right. Um, and then I think I'm also gonna set up a uh, like a wish list on Amazon. So if somebody wanted to grab something like a figure right. to put in the background, I think I'm yeah, gonna yeah. look mm-hmm. doing that as well. Nice, nice. Paul London and Brian Kendrick versus Motor City Machine Guns. Is that wow. a real match booked, or is that just a fantasy match? I was mean, that's a fantasy match that he wants to book. Um, Motor, Motor Machete Machine Guns are teasing that they're leaving after their contract's yeah. done. Apparent, apparently, they've said their goodbyes already. Yep. They said there was Where do they uh, go? A big, they go AEW big... or do they go? Mm, I, mm. Mm-hmm. I think they, I feel like they might just stay in the Indies for a while and just kind of. It's it's possible. There. I, yeah, I think they'll do a couple month a couple month run in the indies, but I mm-hmm. think uh I think if you're a tag team wrestler and you want to do tag team shit, I think uh I think AEW is the place to be if you're a tag right. team guy. Right. I was gonna I was gonna do an Amazon wish list. I thought about that at one point and I checked out Amazon and they don't have YouTube subscribers on there, so my wish list was like <laughs> what do you mean? That was a that was a joke. Uh, well, I, I, I couldn't. I couldn't ask. I couldn't ask for YouTube subscribers on my Amazon wish oh, list. So. Yeah. It, it'll it'll come. It'll come, man. You guys are doing very well for what you're like. You starting off where you are. Like you're starting to build respect amongst the community. You're building respect mm-hmm. to your your audience. You're doing things that are. Uh, the only thing I would say, honestly, to that, would, and I think you guys are in the process of doing that, is doing content that doesn't just revolve around you and your guests, where you have to start selling yourself right. as the brand. Right. I'm actually thinking about doing ABJ podcasts in the future that are just like someone gives me a topic of like depression or right. struggles mm-hmm. within the wrestling community or commentator and just doing like a 20, 30 minute podcast solo of just talking about that topic. Right. Yeah. I, I want to get better at doing solo content. 
yeah we've we've uh we've we've got something in the works along those lines um we're working on something uh with a uh, chill <laughs> out with that you're gonna get me in trouble there is no dark side of abj all right <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're 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 working on some content now. We have a uh, a a college senior in film school that has done uh, a a wrestling related movie about the struggles of uh, independent wrestlers and and things like that. And so we're they're looking at having the film uh, ready to premiere by June. And so we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be doing some stuff with them. So that's kind of cool. So we're we're kind of we're we're in the process of of branching out. Uh, we've got you know some some other ideas coming up soon. Um, so we're we're kind of branching out a little bit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Anastasia, for the two dollars super sticker. A uh, little fox giving a little, and then uh, and then freak paying his two dollar horny tax uh, by saying, "I struggle being a simp for you." freak man he's <laughs> something else wow. something else i said listen if you're gonna if you're gonna if you're gonna be if you're gonna be perverted you gotta pay for it you know what I mean? <laughs> the first month that's looking like we're um we're close to 100 bucks there you go and for mm. in one month the camera that I want to get, so it is a it is a bundle where it comes with a camera, an extra battery, a case, and a few other things. It's like a creator's edition version. It is like six hundred bucks for the whole thing, but Ooh. it's a really fucking nice camera. <laughs> my te but the only test with it would be is uh, is it going to be a good camera for like would I be able to record like an hour long stuff on it? Right, right. Because mm -hmm. I I don't like carrying around a full fledged camera and batteries and shit like that. Right, and they're yeah. the sometimes gopros are good with that but sometimes gopros overheat and then you lose your footage and that's scary right so that's why i always say if i'm doing a podcast i never really do podcasts unless it's like in a controlled environment where right. i have my cameras or or right. we're in a stream yard where i don't right. lose the footage and that's why i started doing like the five questions because you can do those with those gopro cameras mm -hmm. right um yeah and i mean i i've been i've been looking at the uh i've been looking at the kits and things for uh like my like my samsung s23 because i actually did i actually did weekly filming previously uh with some other people with a kit like that where you use your cell phone and it worked out pretty well because it's actually got jacks for real microphones and um so i kind of like that um, yeah. and, and being that I have like, cause we're, we're at the point now where, uh, Sonia's phone's about to be up. And when she gets her phone is up, she's going to take my old phone and I'm going to get the new one. So nice. I'll probably have the S 24 by that point. Um, but you know, they've, they've got pretty decent cameras and if I can get a rig where I can hook the actual microphones up to it, um, you know, it, it worked out really well before. What so. you can do is just take the phone wipe it so there's nothing on it besides your right. footage take the phone with you throw it on a tripod record it mm -hmm. put the wireless mics on you i have looked then, at i have looked at the wireless mics yeah dude that's, the road the road wireless go pro, uh, the world wireless pro mic new setup that they have is really mm -hmm. nice so i have the road wireless go twos and the yeah, go right. wireless go twos um you can just turn them on without even a transmitter to transmit right. to something else and they right. record and you take those files off and then put them on oh, I got you. and then yeah, audio right. sync the footage to the microphones and yeah, then you're right. done yeah, um, I got you. which is nice to do in, in editing but the mm -hmm. but like when you charge them you have to bring them back home and plug them in the charger and then you go a thing right. but the new right. the new cameras the new microphones come with the microphone two microphones a transmitter a windsock and then the case they come in because you don't get a case with them the right. case they come in has like that's four charges tra built into it so you nice. put them back in the case and it'll charge yeah, and them charge wire the on the road yeah that's cool that's sick yeah that's sick the dgi mics also have a case that charges them up as well so the dgi wireless mic system is really cool as well i think that what i like about the dgi mics more than the road mics is when they are mounted somewhere the transmitter mm -hmm. at least there's a mm -hmm. bar on it that you can see the levels and who's oh, loud and who's yeah. not oh, or the cool. wire the road ones are kind of like you have to look on top of the camera because they the way they're mounted the screen's on top yeah that's nice that's definitely helpful. The first here's the first time the rock puts his hands on cody
You want to talk about ugly flags, talk about the Rock's vest with harps and birds on the back. I like how they caution tape those doors. Like, don't and no one use these doors. <clears throat> right, right. And then the empty trash cans. <laughs> kind of toolbox has a cowbell in it right right <laughs> <laughs> i love the backstage props it's my favorite jesus what do you think of the reports that people are saying they're pissed off at the rock because we work in a standard of like pg and the rock's just going on social media saying the f word and cursing <laughs> all the time like it's okay um, for him to do it, but nobody else. Yeah. Does the Rock um, get a? Oh, that's a WWE tour bus, sponsored yeah. by a, a whiskey company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is wild. But ballsy yeah. for them to take a camera out in the rain like that. I would never take my camera out like that. That's why I'll, one of the reasons why I buy GoPros because they're right. water resistant. <laughs> yeah. If they made water resistance microphones, I would buy them in a heartbeat. Yeah. That's one of my big fears too. If you're out somewhere and it starts raining, you're stuck with like. Mm. That's why right. I don't bring my stuff. Like, so I want to buy a, a like a backpack, like a water resistant backpack, and then just throw my gam my cameras in my wireless and just take my backpack yep. and record wherever I want. But like when right. I was in London, it rained at least once every day, Damn. and I was afraid mm -hmm. to bring my stuff to record with because I didn't want to get wet and ruined. Right. You can um the the nicer the nicer backpacks, which is the one I have for my. Uh, alienware laptop because it's it's so big i had to buy a specific one to fit it but um they come with the uh like in the bottom of the bag it'll have a zipper that opens and it comes with uh, a water resistant cover for the whole bag it's really nice nice yeah. i also need someone like where i think a lily is going to be really good for the channel and the brand and the content like i don't i don't know when to turn the microphone on to get a moment but also like i don't want to script everything but like if i have someone with me in the vlog to be like yo like what do you think of today's events let's like talk about it like almost mm -hmm. like a director of how they're going to piece it together almost right you know right. what i mean yeah yeah or it's like important to because in my mind's on the show and my mind's on what i'm going to do today, yeah you, you not can't on be right, stuff. right yeah yeah so yeah, i need can't someone else to have about. a visual idea of like i'm going to record this day and i want i have to have a vision and a game plan in my brain of how this content should come out right. and i need someone I, I need someone to take that step out to be the vlog person because i'm not a vlog content person i'm more of like how am i going to get through my day and i can't mm -hmm. i don't have the mental aspect of like i should turn a camera on and do this right now you know what i mean right yeah i'm i'm trying to i'm trying to find somebody that i can use as a producer for our show cuz i find myself like Oh, Cody sometimes, bladed. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'm not in the moment as much as I should be because I'm worrying about what I've got to hit next and when. So I'd I'd rather be able to just be in the moment and let someone else handle that stuff. Not so much. Like I don't care if your voice is on it. Like it's not a secret that actually I think that's a blood pack. I don't think he actually cut himself. Yeah, I think they put a blood pack on him. So like people are into I think this is dumb. I don't know. I'm not into this. There's one thing about being a villain, and then there's being a really cheesy villain. And I think the rock is teetering that cheesy villain line. Well, the problem is he's he's not trying to evolve at all. He's trying to rely on everything that he's done before, you know, like 20 some years ago that worked then, but is not working now. Like you, ha your character has to evolve somehow. You can't be the same person you were twenty years ago. Yeah, it's nostalgic, right. but it's not gonna work. Mm -hmm. And heels and wrestling are different now. Yeah, they absolutely are. You don't wipe a bl you don't wipe someone's head if they use a blood packet because you, then you don't see where the blood actually comes out of the cut. Don't zoom in on it, you fucking. Idiot. Wow, this is AEW refs holding the ladder all over again. Yeah. 
See, he just said he just said this is what happens when you fuck with the final boss. So he dropped an F bomb on Raw. He's relying on things that he can get away with that no one else can. So here's the thing, Henry. Where I do agree with you, at some point the rock will turn on Roman. Yeah. But how hard in the paint he's going right now will make no sense when right. he finally does it. Yeah. Yeah, that, that ending sequence did not do it for me. I'm going to be honest. It's one of those things where like talent are in the back going, well, how do we get ahead? How do we make people give a shit about us, but also do it within a PG rating? And 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 and, and if we go outside the box, we get punished for it. And right. then the Rock can come back and do and say whatever he wants to get over, and people are eating exactly. it up. You know what I mean? Right. And it's right. I don't yeah. know. I don't want to come off as a hater because I'm not. I'm trying to enjoy the product, but like that kind of stuff does bother me. Um, I think the biggest thing is I'm fairly certain with the same stipulation with his WWE contract as his movie contract. He barely gets touched in fights, but everyone else has to take it. Well, that's that's essentially what the top guys tend to hap happen with. But right, yeah. Uh, guys, what do you what do you have going on? What's new? What do you want to plug as far as uh, the Opinion City podcast go? Yeah, uh, this week, this Sunday. Anarchy in the streets. We have yeah. uh, <laughs> Mikey Anarchy going to be on the show next uh, this week. Uh, yeah, we also have um, Wrestling with Life comes out on Friday on the YouTube channel. We got uh, Brian Anderson, the founder of WrestleMap.com. Yep, we'll be talking to him. Uh, we got a lot of stuff coming up Mania week. Uh, oh, we've yeah. got Wednesday and Thursday with uh, Labor of Love. We've got Thursday night with we've got Thursday night time, live stream. <laughs> Got a Thursday night live stream from Big Dan's uh, birthday bash where oh, you yeah. will see Ultramanus Black and uh, Jimmy Lloyd in a street fight, yep. which is going to be amazing. Very excited oh, yeah. for Wait, that. They're going to do a match during the birthday show. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Ultramanus yep. Black challenged Jimmy Lloyd to a, a street fight at the. It's going to be a yeah in the brewery. Yep. 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 <laughs> yep. Uh, yep. Yeah. It's it's yep. it's going to be off the chains. It's going to be awesome. Uh, we we also are uh, working on uh, an interview either Monday or Tuesday of Mania Week. We will be talking to uh, Joey Wood, who is a writer for EdgeOfPhillySports.com. He's uh, going to come on, and we're going to talk a little uh, Mania predictions and whatnot. He's uh, he's actually going to be in the Mania press box covering nice. for uh edge of philly sports and he's uh and i don't know if it's out yet or not but uh he just did an interview with uh tantalizing tony so i don't yeah, know if that's he was out actually yet. Still live tonight was that yeah, tonight yeah. okay yeah, yeah well Whoa. we're gonna we're gonna be talking to him either monday or tuesday of mania week and getting mm -hmm. some uh, mania predictions and just talking about like uh you know his his uh upcoming you have his experience contact? yeah maybe uh reach out to him maybe he can join us wednesday uh, um so and jump on yeah. with us wednesday or Fr wednesday yeah, or friday i know SmackDown or, or dynamite and we can cover i know he mentioned um i know he mentioned thursday night he was planning on doing i don't know he's doing something but yeah i'll i'll reach out and obviously you guys can be involved in it too but just kind yeah, of yeah. give like a rundown of stuff that he thinks is exciting that people should know about before mania right um yeah absolutely yeah so here's a question for you so I, 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 I'm just kind of going to labor love to get content, hang out, do my thing, support you guys. But I am going to try to get some five questions there. Mm -hmm. From a zero to 100, <laughs> what are the chances that I can get a five questions, do you think, with Ultraman is black? I think it's definitely um, possible. I think it's definitely you think possible. So? You I, think so? It's possible? I think it's possible. Absolutely. I, I absolutely do yeah. think it's possible. Um, yeah. I think we can. I think we can make that happen between yeah. all. I of think us. the five questions is a lot easier to get people to do than an hour long podcast. Yeah. It, well, I, it I is. I honestly think um, five questions is. is is going to possibly become bigger than the ABJ podcast. It's it's possible. Um, you know, I think that. Uh, I, I think I, I think it's possible. I think we can make it happen. Um, we've got we've got a couple opportunities, so I think it's, I think it can happen. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely try to grab some five qu five questions with ABJ while I'm at Labor of Love. Uh, yeah. That that guy who runs that place, he he seems to like us, so maybe we'll get some <laughs> cool. Uh, <laughs> well, we'll, get, well, I I know I know he likes me. That's for sure. 
He likes me too. I we we talked a lot during. Everyone uh, loves the king. Yeah, every uh, everyone loves ABJ. Well, not everyone, but most people. Love yeah. ABJ. <laughs> yeah. But, um. Yeah. So yeah. we I, I had a, a lot of cool conversations with him, but we are getting really close to wrapping up our high tension, and 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 worldwide dojo five questions. When I was there, uh, out mm-hmm. now with uh, Erwin von Scharf, hey. uh, five questions with ABJ with him, dropping on Wednesday will be five questions with journey burke esquire then on friday will be brew valen he's hey, quickly land becoming shark. one of my favorite on the scene the he's, land he's, shark sonia loved him at the high tension taping yeah so good so good sonia was totally into that yeah he was he was really good we'll we'll start off the month of uh may with al de niro which hey. I'm for. So that's going to wrap up our five questions that were recorded with high tension at the worldwide dojo. And then we have a whole bunch of five questions that were recorded at PPW. And then we'll get a whole bunch mania weekend between labor of love and two days mm-hmm. of labor of love and suplex vintage wrestling. Uh, yeah. 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 I'm pumped. I'm pumped. It's going to be sick. Hey, I got a lot of, fun. I got, I got, yeah, I got we're, guests we're till in. the end of May. I'm booking for June right now. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm, really? I'm pretty excited about yeah. that too. Yeah, I see, got, here's my thing. I used to book really far out, and then I, that's where I had more people bail because I'd book them too far out and they'd forget. Mm-hmm. So I've just, only if it works for you guys, awesome. But that's yeah, why I stopped only, booking so far ahead because it, I've only I've only had it. I've only had two people bail on me so far, and none of them were about none of them were were, were about forgetting. One no, no, no. one their one their car ended up in another state, and they had to figure out yeah. how to get it to the state where they live. Yeah, this is a really interesting story, but yeah, no, it's 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 worked out so far for us. It's been yeah, good. April. Sorry, I hit I said the wrong yeah. one. But well, my uh, calendars are all fucking all over the place because someone <laughs> ruined my ADHD. I'm still trying to learn how to read my calendars. Yeah, but isn't everything color coded for you? Right, so right. Here's isn't... what happened. I have, I have, uh, I have half of March here, but then it says April really big on top. But it's it's half of March and then April and then all of May on this calendar. So it's, it's fucking with so my it's brain. A little, yeah, confusion, okay. confusion. I got you. Mask if you have ADHD brain like I do, it's very. Yep. Yeah. It, it's, yep. Spe- it's in, I'm I'm learning. I'm learning how to get inside Lily's brain it. so we can work together instead of being a psychopath. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So a lot of awesome content coming up between the Ben Frank connection and yeah. the ABJ podcast and the, uh, and the opinion city podcast. We're going to do a lot of really fun things. We just announced that we're going to record something off air for you guys. That'll air later uh, myself and Parm and my little brother, Austin from captain butters, 32 gaming over on Twitch. So go follow him. We'll be doing a review of the newest, um, West Side Gun album, Hall and Nash 2, ahead of meeting him at Suplex Vintage Wrestling on Saturday. Ralph will be hanging out with us a little bit, I think, at Suplex, but he will be at Mania later on that night, so he won't be staying there too, too long. Mm-hmm. Um, if you want to get the Mania merch, it is still available. Uh, it helps the podcast. It helps me out a lot. I don't have a lot of funds when it comes to this week, and these guys are driving all over the place to make sure I'm there. I don't even have gas money to give them. So any donations or super chats are great. I can't pull those out right away, but there is a PayPal Venmo and cash app. If you really want to help me out for mania weekend to buy me lunch or dinner while I'm out, <laughs> it, it uh, I'm not even, I'm being not even funny right now. Like dead serious. Like we went out the other night and I didn't, I didn't eat for almost like 16 hours. And then I came home and scarfed down three slices of pizza. Times are tough, but I, I'm not letting my tough times get in the way of me trying to make fun content uh, with my friends. So any support will be great. And also, Hot if you want to support baby. Hard, yeah, hard I'm, yeah, I am in hard times. Hard times baby. Uh, it's all about the hard connection times. by heading over to the Opinion City podcast on uh, Spring as well as uh, uh, T Public and grab these uh, things that these great club shirts as well as many other designs that are available exclusively on there that help these guys pay for Streamyard that they give to me so I can make content. <laughs> um, if it, honestly, if it wasn't for these two guys here, ABJ would not have hit 1K. I would have not hit my partnership because I would have been done three months ago uh suplex vintage wrestling held me down for a while while i didn't have a job with enough money to pay for Streamyard, and then these guys came in and said hey we know your suplex thing ended we like you as a content creator we'd like to work mm-hmm. with you and not let you go away like these are two content creators who at the end of the day seen i was struggling and i could have disappeared 
and they could have easily filled that void and taken my spot and and cut my throat like a lot of other content creators tried to do in my local area. Uh, but, <laughs> but these dudes came in and said, instead of letting you guys let, so, and letting you fall away, we want to work with you. So if you support me and love me and like my content, follow these two guys as well, because without them, I wouldn't be here right now. So show that love to Ben Frank connect and the opinion city podcast. We're going to do some fucking dope ass shit this weekend for me. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Tune in live tomorrow for Evil Dead Rises review with Charles Moran. Tune in Thursday with Dante Elizabeth James, TikTok sensation. Go follow Dante as well. What a great follow. And head over to horrorprints.com to support them as well. The links for these two episodes are available, and you can go into the links and support upcoming guests by following them on social media. Leave a comment and say, man, I'm super excited to see you on the ABJ podcast. That kind of engagement on someone else's channel makes you as a podcaster more valuable. Right. You're like, yo, I didn't realize I got 16 new followers because of your people on your podcast. That means a lot when it yeah. comes to like, hey, I, I, I went on the Opinions City podcast the episode and I got 20 to 30 new followers. That's awesome. That yeah. really shows your value as a content person. Right. Um, Thursday, while we are, we, while we are in... Um, uh philly i will have a pre-recorded episode with mark soars of the kryptonaut podcast i'm very very pumped for that one uh another great podcast that's out there and then we will be back live again this wednesday for AEW dynamite uh two dollar super chat <laughs> for freak maniac thank you so much we're going to continue this 1k party over on discord so if you guys want to hang out with us on discord the link is below to join with us there we'll see you guys next time on hanging out with abj Myself, the Opinion City Podcast Boys, we'll see you next time. We're out of here. Thanks for watching this presentation. Like, share, and subscribe for more.